Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV. It is what, Thursday? It is about 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, I think we're airing live. I'm waiting to see it pop up on my side. Uh, I got my coffee ready, so cheers to everybody. I got my cold drink ready. Again, cheers to everybody. And the cutting that you guys saw, the carbon fiber cutting, just finished like at 9.01. That's why I'm running about two minutes late or a minute late because uh, I just turned the machines off and I need to now go and um, clean those up, all right? So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, vacuum the pieces off real quick, wipe them down, and those are gonna be the actual pieces that we use on this build tonight, all right? Let me grab for you the quad that we're gonna be building. The quad that we're gonna be building is, a, uh, is the new Diablo S3. This is the, um, uh, I, I'm still waiting. I'm not sure if this is, sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it now. Let me turn down my videos here. I think that we may have a one minute delay. Hey, I know uh, we did this before, guys, and I'm probably gonna ask you guys to do this again. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see if I get a stopwatch here, and I can. So uh, I'm gonna put this camera, I'm gonna flip it around uh, so we can see what the delay is on Facebook. I know we had a delay of 35 seconds on uh, YouTube. Uh, I say, hey, David and Rudy and Dustin. Hey, guys, uh, what I'm gonna do is, let me turn this one on real quick. Uh, okay, updates completed. Great. Just let's just cancel and get going here. Uh, set up later. Uh, don't use it. Blah 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 blah. Uh, passcode options. Don't use a passcode. Don't create a pass. Come on already. My God, just turn the phone on. Hold on a second. Let's. Uh, let me show you what I'm dealing with here. So I've got this stupid thing. Let me just click. Uh, continue. Continue. Stupid. Let's go. Continue. It started, my lord. Okay, so I want to see what the delay is here, guys. So let's see if I, oops, which way do you go on this phone? All right, let's see what the delay is. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I know you guys are watching. So uh, Carmine, Lucian, how you guys doing? What I'd like to know is what the delay is here because it's going to kind of make a difference for tonight on some things. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, David, Dustin, actually, Dustin, you did this with me last time. So let's go ahead and give this a shot real quick. Um, as soon as I say go, I want you to tell me. I'm going to tell you a number, and then you post the number on the screen, and I don't know exactly how long the delay is, okay? So, Dustin, uh, if you'll do this for me, please. <clears throat> the number is 10. Now, let's see how long it takes you to post that on the screen. Oh, wait. I'm going to wait just a minute. Sorry, guys, but we have to do this. I need to know because... Um I need to know what our delay is. We've got some prizes to give away tonight. I'm making up for a lot of nights where I wasn't live, and there were some things going on, which I'm going to tell you a few things here real quick, and then we're going to get started. Uh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. I can guarantee you that. We're going to have uh, some crazy stuff going away. All right, we're at 30 seconds. All right, so it's about the same. We have about a 30 to 35 second delay. Excellent. Okay, so um, let me reset that. Let's put that aside. So uh, here's what we got going on tonight. So we're going to be um, building this right here. This is the new Diablo S3. This is a, a seriously mini, very small uh, uh, quad that flies like a full size, in my opinion, okay? Um, I'm obviously biased to this because I created it, but uh, I will tell you the things about it, and then we are going to get to building one. I do have to pull the parts off the table. Like I said, they just got done being cut. Um, uh, so it is a... Um, is a three inch quad the arms are the arms as you can see here the arms have the arm lock feature in them so they lock in place and then you tighten down uh per a request from a customer i actually had this uh done in two ways with 30 30 boards it came out 30 30 and 20 20 okay uh and so that was one of the things that was asked to me and then this particular build is only 10 millimeters thick so it uses 10 millimeter spacers uh, enough for an all-in-one uh, flight controller and ESC and then on the back as you can see uh, there is the VTX and the cutout has been put in the top plate uh, and this is actually the HDLRC VTX um, there you can extend this to 15 millimeters and double stack it if you want or do whatever you want to do but for the low profile design this is it um, uh, and uh, I'm running the um, brother hobby uh, well, the, the Chaos uh, 1407 3600 kV motors they made for us. Um, and these are the Tornadoes here, uh, the um, uh, 1407 Tornadoes. I do have a Caddx on the front. Uh, and all in all, and this has actually this is actually made for long range. So there's an R9MM inside it. Um, and uh, it flies at a 4S battery, a 3 and a 4S. 
All right, so I have a 3S right here. This is the one that I used in the picture when we did this. And so it flies a full-size battery. Um, it is made to fly like a full-size quad. It handles unbelievably well. These are HQ props on here. Um, and then as you can see, we can tighten it down. We've got our um, full-size battery on here. And uh, let's see, this will buckle right in. Um, I'm not gonna fly it right now, obviously, but uh, I did test it. It was extremely smooth um, with stock PIDs, to be honest with you. Um, so anyways, this is what we're gonna be building tonight, guys, and we're gonna start giving stuff away, right? So I'm, I've got about, I've got a ton of stuff I wanna give away, some cool stuff, I mean, some fun stuff, right? Um, I've got some announcements to make. Uh, I know that our subscriber count is climbing, and as promised, when we hit 1,000 on our YouTube channel, I'm giving a, um, a, a one of my personal uh, Phantoms, uh, DJI Phantoms away, all right? So, I mean, this is gonna be fun once we hit 1,000, but tonight I've got, I've got a bunch of cool stuff I wanna give away. I wanna kinda make up for some lost time here. Uh, and uh, so give me a second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna walk over to the table there and grab the parts. Uh, I'm going to turn the vacuum on real quick so you're going to hear it for just a second and then I'll clean them up at the table and we'll get started and if you guys have any questions while we're doing this man look the night is yours you let me know but let's have some fun okay so give me one sec I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, parts are off the table. Uh, I'll put this quad here and I will show you what we're working with here. Uh, they're fresh cut, um, so give me a second. I'm gonna grab uh, an alcohol wipe here just so I can clean these up. I won't be sanding them right now because I wanna get into the build itself. I wanna go over this with you guys and show you some of the cool stuff that we're doing. Um, and uh, kind of discuss the frame and anything else. Uh, and also answer any questions you may have. I mean, I, I you know, it's, it's uh we've got some cool things coming up and i've been reading about what you guys are wanting and what you're hoping to see come out from us and, and what we can develop so you know any brainstorming that we can do uh together that's kind of what i enjoy doing here um uh, and we do have some more low pro profile stuff now what you're going to notice on the frames is i mean i've really cut back on the frames uh and started focusing on the ones that we had plus uh fine tuning some of them uh, I'm not really looking as far as the quantity of frames anymore. At the beginning, I wanted to have a, a real diverse selection, but now what I, my goal is is to take what we've got um, and really just focus on adapting them to new to new changes, new hardware, and just making them better. I mean, it's 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 the way it's the way I think it should be, and uh, I don't think you can do a hundred things uh, and give your attention to all of it. So I've I've kind of slimmed down a little bit on how many frames I want to make and really just focus on making these better. The input from you guys has been, uh, uh, does anyone have a synergy? I do not, but I'm sure there's some folks in here in Germany that do. Uh, hopefully somebody will uh, be able to help you with that if you have any questions. Um, but you're more than welcome to ask anybody here. I mean, seriously, post, it's not off topic. This is drones, talk about drones. Trust me, I'm about to change the topic a little bit anyway. So uh, I'm gonna uh, make a small announcement here. Uh, yeah, and then the giveaways. Thanks, David. That's right. Remind everybody we got some giveaways tonight. And remember to be entered in these giveaways, guys. You need to um, you need to be subscribed to our face or to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash cyclone FPV. And the reason for that is because I pull the names from our subscriber list. So if you're not subscribed, you can't win. And that's just a way to help us grow our channel. I had not focused on it, and now I'm focusing on it, and so we're trying. All right. So please do that. Okay, so um, let's see, we're gonna be giving away, oh, you know, uh, I have some helping hands here um, that I've had for like a long time. They're really awesome, actually. Uh, and I'm gonna be giving some of those away tonight and I, I really like them. I just put them away and forgot about them. And then somebody asked me not too long ago if we have helping hands, I'm like, you know what we do? Why not give some of those away? Because I know people need stuff like that. I'm gonna give some tool sets away tonight too. 
uh, and we'll give some uh, components away uh, and whatever else we feel like doing. Let's just have fun and see how generous we can be and make everybody's Father's Day a really badass Father's Day if we can, okay? Um, but before I get started, uh, Gerald, it's going to be a long stream tonight. Well, it'll be long until I start dozing off, but uh, yeah, it should be pretty, it should be a good, a good lengthy stream here, to be honest with you. Um, and during that time, we'll be getting Rudy. Oh, that's funny. That's what I, my family's good, man. I mean, we've had some stuff happen this week and I was going to, you know, there's, there's uh, with Father's Day, with Father's Day coming up. Um, thanks, David. Okay. With Father's Day coming up, I thought that this would be a great time to also uh, kind of make an announcement here. Uh, and no, it's not that I'm having a kid. Hey, Ben, how you doing? So don't, don't anybody get any crazy ideas. Nobody's pregnant. Nobody's having kids. But tell you what, let's take a break. Let's do this real quick. And then right after this, we're going to go ahead and give our first prize away. All right. So let's, let me uh, first welcome y'all and tell you how much I appreciate y'all tuning in. Okay. No, I don't sleep. I try not to sleep. Um, I'm going to share a couple of things with you. Uh, and I'm doing this only, thanks Dwayne. Uh, I, I, same to all of you, all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Um, this Father's Day is going to be a very interesting one for me. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share something with you very quickly. Um, and this way, uh, on Sunday, on Father's Day, you may know to watch out for this. Okay. So as some of you know, um, over the last year and a half or so, I have been in and out of court for my, my kids, my boys, right? I love them. They're the, they're the nuts, right? They're the best. And uh, I won't get into all of it, but I will tell you that, um, you know, for those of you that didn't know or didn't know, what have you, uh, there was this guy and he was their mom's fiance and the boys had come to me and said that this guy was punching them in there, hitting them in their privates, right? My two oldest sons, my oldest and my middle, uh, and this guy's name, by the way, is Timothy Bruxford. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there because Tim, this Father's Day is a special one for you. Okay. So, um, so they came to me in July of 2017 and they asked me for some help. They said, dad, he's hitting us. He's knocked us to the ground. It hurts. Um, he pulls his pants down. He plays these weird games, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. So we went to court. Um, Tim got arrested and, uh, but um, their mom uh, took his side and said that the kids were not telling the truth, okay? And I, I battled that. Unfortunately, if you look at me, I'm tatted head to toe, and our judge couldn't make the trial, uh, so we had an associate judge who never let us speak. Uh, we, we were supposed to have a 10-day trial. It lasted a day and a half. We couldn't call witnesses. When we did try to call a witness, which was the guy that was hitting my kids, she said no. Um, that is now an appeal, all right? Now, there's a reason I'm getting to this point. So it has been extremely difficult uh, to, at the end of it all, the judge didn't, uh, at the end of the day and a half, the judge did not hear anything. She actually didn't even know about what had happened to the kids. Uh, and the kids were supposed to be able to speak to her and she didn't let them speak to her. Um, she basically, as a matter of fact, uh, at one point asked, was trying to make a ruling and I said, I didn't understand. And I've got the transcripts, they're online and I'll tell you where to go see them. But long story short, it's an appeal. The whole deal got screwed. Um, and their mom stayed engaged to this guy or stayed with him, right? After uh, she lied and said it didn't happen and then she admitted it did happen and that she was there, but we never got to present that in court because the judge stopped the trial, right? It was trial's finished, so we didn't get to present it. So long story short, um, this has been always about money. And if you're a dad or mom, I don't, you know what, doesn't matter, dad, whatever. Point being is the court system you, you tell your kids trust in the justice system, you call CPS, you expect them to do their job, and they did. They were very concerned and they stepped in. Safe Harbor stepped in, interviewed my kids, and through those interviews, uh, the sheriff's department got involved and the guy got arrested. But both of them lied about it, right? They both lied and said it never happened. And um, only later on did their mom admit that she was present. Not only did ha things happen, but she was present for it. Um, and but the judge who actually start, heard the case at the beginning, who wanted to know the truth, never heard the case again. So here's what I'm doing. And this is, I'll get to this point because um, it's Father's Day coming up and it's my turn now to get things on track. I lost uh, time with my kids because of this. I stood up for them, CPS got involved, and it's so funny because you see all these kids getting hurt and they get abducted they get one there was a kid recently on the news he was in uh, the doctor's office had bruise on his face and he told the doctor that my mom he said my mom didn't mean to hurt me but she hit him with a belt 
They tried to get CPS involved. CPS said there wasn't enough evidence to keep the kid away from his parents. They killed the kid shortly after and buried him somewhere in the field in their home. Um, stories like that are happening all the time. But I called CPS and they got involved. But the court, Judge Stovall, I'll, I'll say her name, Judge Stovall is a worthless, worthless judge. Um, and I hope Judge, Judge Stovall, I know, see guys, here's what I do know. I know, and I'm, I'm not trying to get away from the build, but I said I would do this because Father Day is coming up. Uh, I know that m my ex-wife, her name's Marissa, Marissa Maloof, I know that her attorney watches these because they use my videos against me. They take pictures of my inventory claiming I have all this money and blah, blah, blah. So I hope they're watching. Because here's my deal. Judge Stovall, um, you asked the bailiff for the gun because you got tired of me saying I didn't understand. You and the lawyers had discussions about tattoos being in pornos and how basically how dirty they are. And then you asked somebody to give me gloves to cover the tattoos on my hands. Remember, you see these tattoos with the crosses. That is a, a verse from the Bible, Corinthians uh, 1, 4, which basically says, I thank my God for you. And these are for my kids, right? You, you insane woman. But uh, you wanted to cover my tattoos and blah, 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 right? So you came at me all kinds of bullshit ways. And not once did you ask about the kids or who hit them or what happened. So here's what I'm doing, guys. Um, and that's it. And we'll move on. Uh, I have property. That's one thing I do have that I've held that I'm giving to my kids. That's for them, not for their mom to take or anybody else. But she's been happy to take everything else. She's so money hungry and so much after the money, and so is her lawyer and everybody else involved, that I'm going to put up one piece of property on Sunday. Um, it's worth a million dollars. Okay, It's for sale for $1.2 million, actually. But I'm offering to give it for free. I'm going to give it, right? And I'm going to say this now so that everybody knows what the hell's going on. Marissa, Tim, Steve Jackson, her attorney, Judge Stovall, uh, let's see, um, uh, Saunders, Roger Saunders, the doctor who did the criminal investigation, who's evaluating Tim, and uh, uh, Kit Harrison. All right, guys, here we go. I have a bar worth 1 million, 1.2 million, I think, property, I don't know, I mean, when it sells, whatever, but it's listed for 1.2. There's no cash anymore. You guys have taken all that. What I have is a property. I'm gonna put 10 statements you made that you lied about in court, 10 of them under oath that you guys lied about or that you made comments about, like Steve, you lied about something but you're not under oath, you're just a jerk off attorney, cool, uh, who lies. And you're a dad, by the way, but you have no concept of what that means. So I'm gonna put your lies out live. Uh, I'm gonna put the transcripts up. Marissa, I'm putting up all your lies. Tim, I'm coming after you, bud, it's Father's Day and you screwed me with my family, so it's my time to make sure that we get even on this one, right? Um, 10 lies. Each lie worth $100,000. Every lie that you say, everything that I put out there that is a lie and you say it's right, and I'm telling everybody here this, when that bar sells and it's up for sale, I give you each $100,000 for your lie if it's not a lie. Under oath lies, all this bullshit that you said, right? So, Tim, here's your, here's your thing. Um, you said you didn't touch my kids. You said you didn't play this game where you pull your penis out in front of them. Marissa said you did, all right? And she said that under oath during her deposition, although she lied in court during the hearing. And she lied during your criminal investigation because you two were still engaged at the time. One year after it came out that you had messed with my kids. I didn't touch you, I didn't screw with you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a hundred grand if you're telling the truth. I swear on my kids, $100,000 or whatever it is, times divided by 10 when that bar sells. Sells for 500,000, you get 50,000. 10 lies, if any of you guys told the truth, and I'm gonna put them up there on Sunday for Father's Day. It's time for you guys to answer. So that's my thing to you guys. For everybody else out there, guys, dads, happy Father's Day to y'all. To my kids, I love you more than anything. To my, to my wife, who is the most amazing stepmom, who's endured the most shit ever, I love you to death. Thank you for making me a better man, and thank you for giving my kids uh, an amazing house to live in. To their mom, to the guy that hit them, and play these stupid games with them, naked games, the one who put his hands on my kids and knocked them on the ground, I haven't touched you, bud, and I'm not going to. You'll meet your maker and he'll, you'll answer to him. But God help you, man. I'm giving you a fifty dollars to $100,000 chance here to make some money if what you said was true. But if not, everybody's going to know you lied. Same to you, Marissa. Everybody's going to know you lied. And you lied about the fact that you were there when the kids got hit. You lied about the fact that you were there when your fiancé pulled his pants down and played games in front of the kids that were inappropriate that you admitted to later. And uh, to Judge Stovall, 
you made the you made the legal system look like a pathetic, pathetic system. You didn't do anything by the book. You didn't care. You judged me on my tattoos. You had no clue whatsoever what was going on. You guys screwed my family up. It's my turn to get even this Father's Day. Now, with that said, guys, let's get going. Happy Father's Day to everybody. I love y'all, and God help y'all. If you end up ever in the position I'm in, let me know, because there's one thing I can tell you is they tell you, don't go on the internet. Don't do this. And I'm like, why? Am I supposed to believe in the legal system? Bullshit. Because the legal system didn't give me two seconds of time. CPS didn't do shit. They helped. I mean, they, they came in and got my kids away and put them in. They, had, they helped to put them here. But boy, I tell you what. You know, when you're a father, when you're a father going up and you're tatted, man, they paid you to be some guy that's a criminal. This is it. No. So I sat one year and let you guys have your fun. Now it's my turn. All right. And with that said, guys, let's change subjects now. We're going to have some fun. We're going to be building something. And let's give our, let, let me get this set up to give our first thing away, right? So here's the quad we're building. Here's everything right here. Okay. And uh, I do also want to send prayers out to my wife's family. Uh, this week, they, they, um, their, one, her aunt passed away unexpectedly, um, and I think that probably kicked me into overdrive. I love y'all very much. Y'all accepted me with my tattoos and everything, didn't judge me at all. Um, but you know, it does go to show you that you don't know when your last day is, and I'll be damned if I don't get to say my piece so that my kids know that I love them and I fought for them. So uh, let's have some fun, huh? And uh, let's see what we're gonna do. I wanna give a helping hands away. I said I had them, I wanna give them away, okay? Here we go. So let me show you what the helping hands look like. And we will go ahead and do a drawing. Um, so make sure, guys, please make sure that you are uh, subscribed to uh, our channel on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Facebook. Let me open this one up. This is one that I had opened and tried to put together initially. Uh, and thank you, guys. And I'm sorry to have wasted your time with all that, but I feel like Hey, you know what? Oh, what I was going to tell you. Sorry, there's one more thing. When none of them win their money, right, because they're all lying and it's going to come out live on Sunday when I do the video, um, I am going to give 10% of the sale of that bar to Safe Harbor. Um, those people protected my kids, and they did what was right, and they got those charges uh, against Tim uh, filed, or they helped. And that place is amazing. They help. They help. It's a shelter. It's great. So 10% of the sale goes to uh, um, Safe Harbor uh, if none of these things, if all these things are lies. So at least there will be some good out of the lies at the end of the day. So I want to thank the people at Safe Harbor for at least doing their part. It's not your fault that, that Judge Stovall is a looney tune. And it's not your fault that Steve Jackson uh, claims to be a dad but cares nothing for kids, cares more about, cares more about the dollar and he does about the kids, right? So good for you, Steve Jackson. There's a special place for you, my friend, uh, one day, and I hope that uh, I'm there to watch you get there. Uh, and then for everybody else, why not help the groups like Safe Harbor and CPS? They are overworked, underpaid, and they do their best. That's for sure. So thank you to you guys and to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department and the District Attorney's Office for helping to uh, arrest him and get that part going. All right? Okay, so here we go. And Tim, uh, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, so here's the safe, uh, safe. here's the helping hands. Uh, I'm going to put one of these together, and then we're going to go ahead and get one of these. Uh, we're going to give uh, this one away, and then we're going to get started with our build. Okay, so um, I hope you guys need them. I have plenty of them. Um, and all you have to do is pay shipping. That's it, okay? So let me remind you of the rules. When you win, if you win, uh, you need to email me, Tarek at CycloneFPV.com. Just reach out to me somehow. And you have to have an account. Make sure you create an account on our website because that's how I get your shipping address and uh, I can ship this to you. You do pay for shipping, but nothing else, okay? Uh, I don't care if you live in Australia. I had to ship something out to Australia tonight because of a screw up and uh, oh boy, that cost me. I shipped the wrong battery and so uh, I know how much it costs to go to Australia, but uh, hey, I don't care where you live. As long as you pay the shipping, it's yours, okay? I ask for your support and that's it. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this goofy thing together because it is like an octopus here. Hold on one second. And then you guys can see it, and I will give one away. And hell, I'll give a bunch of them. I'll give more away tonight. And then tool sets. If you guys need some tool sets, they're coming. So get ready. It's going to be awesome. Uh, let me see. So I've got one here. I don't know how you would want to scroll these in, uh, but let me just get this attached. I look like an idiot trying to do this. I know. I know I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's just assume this is screwed in. This sucker is a pain with the wire on here, but it's got a flashlight. Uh, you guys can see that. There's a flashlight there. Uh, it's got a fan uh, right here. Uh, and it's got, uh, I've got to make this not tip over. Okay, so you get the point. This is the, help, this is the helping hand. Oh my God, this is a pain. Uh, uh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm sucking at this. So let's just make fun of the fact that I can't even put this. I need a helping hand to put the damn helping hand together, but hold on. I'll get this eventually. There we go. Holy moly. All right, let's just assume that screwed in all the way because it's gonna take me an hour. Okay, so I think I'm good here, guys. Um, there we go. It's an octopus of helping hands. You've got a magnifying glass. You've got these cl cl clamps, 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 flashlight, and then you've got your fan right here that comes with it. Whew. And then you've got the little uh, rubber stomper things here so that it doesn't slide. And the best part is it says Cyclone FPV and it's got our logo right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this and this is how we're gonna, <laughs> shut up with the toilet cam. All right, so um, the way this works is, and I know you guys have seen this before, uh, I'm just going to, at this point, uh, share the screen and then we need to get going with our build. So let me put that here. Let me get on the screen here so you guys can see it. Good luck to the, whoever gets the first prize for the night. Uh, and let me see if I can add this so you guys can see it here real quick. Hold on. Uh, cameras, there we go, done. And let's go to our YouTube channel. And you guys will be watching the screen. In just a second, you're going to see what I'm looking at. I just got this damn octopus looking thing in my face. So um, hold on a second. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Close. I got so many uh, notices popping up here. Um, okay, so I think I click this. And nope, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Hold on. Hold on. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Just hang tight. I need to go to the old... Uh, Studio Classic here. I don't like this. Sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> so we're giving this away. Let me get my thing to pull up here. Uh, okay. So I think if I click this and then I go to subscriber, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to copy the subscriber list like we did last time and then I'll go ahead. Now I'm going to show you the screen that I'm looking at. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to just sc uh, scroll down and take all the subscribers Oh, I have to load them all. Hold on a second. All right. I don't remember how many you had. I know we passed 900 now, so thanks a lot for that, guys. It's been a long time. I have been trying my best to work on it, but we get uh, we get um, bogged down with things and family stuff. But uh, I'm almost done here. It loads pretty quickly, actually. And then what I do is copy this, put it in Excel real quick, and you guys, uh, we do a random number generation of uh, total. Okay, there we go. So I think that selects all of them. It does, so I'm gonna click Copy. I'm gonna open Excel like I did before. I have to find it first. All right, there it is. And we're gonna paste it. Uh, let's do a new one. And we're gonna paste, here we go, ready. And I think it's just regular paste. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just paste it regular. And what it's gonna do is I think it imports their picture and their name or whatever, but it should give me a count. So we'll see. And then we'll pull the random generator out and we will make it happen. All right, so here's how it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna do a random generating number and what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the number here. The last number will be, um, uh, what is that, 1037, okay? So I'm gonna pick the numbers and then whoever's closest to it here I'm gonna go, so if it passes you up, it'll go to the next person. So if the number is 843, it passes here, it goes straight down to 846, okay? And that's how we make it pretty, I know how to paste, David. I was just wondering if I had to do a paste special. Thanks, bud, I got you. Okay, so let's do this real quick. What we're gonna do now, and I cannot see your comments right now, so bear with me, but there is an app on my phone called Random, and I'm gonna show you that app, and I'm gonna show you this, and we're gonna do this side by side, here we go. So the random, the number that we're gonna go to is from one uh, to, um, where are we at? Okay, now people are subscribing and I guess you're gonna see these posts too. Sorry, let me get back up here. So it's, I guess it'll be a block. So um, 
yeah, so this will work, right? So if we look at that, we're going to do from 1 to, uh, I don't know, 1,036, I guess. And the way it would go is if you're in this block, actually, you would win. And then from there, it goes to this block, right? So uh, I guess that's person number one. And then we would go down, okay? So this would be the whole block right here. So this person gets this whole block. So you actually have a pretty good chance of winning here. Okay, so 1,000, what did I say? 1,000 something. Um, 1,037. Okay, so from 1 to 103, oh crap, 1037. All right, here goes. First one, uh, this is what we're going to be giving away tonight. Um, so let's see what happens. So we're going to generate number 822. So let's go to 822. And 822 is going to be this block here. So it's going to be, uh, it looks like it's going to be, well, it'll be this person right here because, well, this person, 822, would be, let me see. Let me make sure I got this right. So 822 is the number. I want to make sure I get the right person here. This describes this person's list here. So 822 is going to be, unless I read this wrong, if you guys want to confirm with me, I'm showing that this would be uh, this guy right here, which would be Joe Sutter. So uh, I'm going to switch back so I can see y'all's comments now. So let me make sure that I've got this right. And we will make sure that we're right. I've got it as Joe Sutter. You guys let me know what you think. Let me get back to my comments so I can verify with you guys what you think. Come on, where am I at? Okay, so I, I can see y'all's comments now. I see it as Joe Sutter being 822. Uh, and uh, let's make sure you guys agree. So the number was 822. Uh, no, wait, what was the number? Hold on. Shoot. Yeah, 822. So, no, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's right down here. Sorry. Um, 822 is going to be this person. Is that right? Does everybody agree with me? Sorry, it wasn't just there. It was the next one. Uh, does everybody agree? You guys let me know because that's how I'm reading it. So, uh, if that works, then uh, uh, it looks like it stops right here, right? So, it's the block after. So, that's what we'll do. 822. And uh, let me announce the winner again. Sorry, guys. Uh, Gerard. What did Gerard say? Gerard is right. Let me see what Gerard said. Gerard, 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 Gerard. I don't see Gerard's comment. So, oh, it is. I'm, I'm sorry. You mean the person, Gerard. Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. So, yeah, I've got it as actually this person. Do we agree on that? Yes? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I said Joe Sutter, too. It's not right for me to say somebody. So, Joe, if you're watching and you got excited, bud, you can have one too. All right? It wouldn't be right for me. But uh, studio studio guy is the winner. Uh, so, you get one too. Okay? Um, uh, so, hopefully that helps. And we're going to be doing this all night. And I will not take this long to pick the winner. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it as uh, Studio Jane Dolper, I guess. And Joe Sutter, I said your name by accident because I had it on the wrong thing, but you still get to get one if you want, okay? You guys are the first ones to win the um, Helping Hands, and we'll just start giving a bunch of stuff away tonight. So let's get going. God darn it. Now to the build. Oh, all right, so now to the build we go. Got my coffee, got it. Where the hell's the build? Here it is, okay. All right, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pull some, uh, I'll do another um, uh, subscriber list here if you guys want. Okay, so what we're building again is we're building the three inch. Uh, we are going to be giving the frame away tonight, the one uh, that we're working on now. Just know that on this 3-inch, I did use 2-millimeter arms because I was cutting one sheet so I could be done in time, but they will be in 3-millimeter like this one. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing is we're going to use a 30-30 set right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab... Oh, it's right here. I'm going to grab the... I got a multi-star for this one, and that's what I built mine out of. So this is the multi-star, um, but you're missing four, fifth... What? Each line is about... Wait, Gerard, what are you saying? Hold on. No, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. Hold on a second, let, let me see. Let me see. This is the subscriber list I have. Oh, I see what you're saying. It says 909 subscribers, hold on a second. Am I not getting them all? Really? All right, I'll have to, uh, god darn it. You see, every time I do something, I don't, I don't, um, congrats to that person, but you're missing four for the, yeah, I see what you're talking about now. All right, we'll figure this out. I don't understand uh, how else you 
capture one fifth of your subscribers. You only had one thousand each. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. God darn it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Tell you what. We'll, 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 as I'm putting this together, we'll just figure out something else. David, put your brains on this one, please, because this YouTube crap and this this stuff. I thought, help me out with this one. While I'm starting to build this, we're just going to give an extra item away tonight then and make sure that we give everybody a fair chance. We got, I'm giving at least 10 things away tonight. So don't worry, everybody. You're going to, no, no, no. That person, one of your older subscribers. So yeah. You're right. That's very nice of you to say that, but still, it needs to be fair. So David, help me out with that, would you please? Uh, figure out how the heck I could do that. Um, and while he's doing that, we're going to get started on this build. So what we're going to be working on today is we're going to be doing the multi-star. This is the 30 amp um, uh all in one uh, flight control, F4 flight controller, and ESC, and it's got OSD on it as well. Okay, uh, so I could win. Ben Anderson. <laughs> All right, Ben, you got it. Um, so we're gonna put this on the board and get started. And hell, let's just get going to it. Uh, so let me get going with what I need uh, on this one. We are gonna be using 14 millimeter screws. So let's go ahead and get those ready. <laughs> Adam. There's the man that inspired this one. Ooh, can I say that, Adam? Um, we got to keep that quiet. We got to keep that on the DL. All right, so we're going to use the uh, 12 mil or sorry, 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter M3s, and then to hold them in place, we're going to go ahead and put the um, uh, pull list from live viewers. Yeah, but that was the problem. Is oh, that f okay? So wait a minute, Jeff. Live viewers from Facebook? I don't know. Y'all figure this out. Help me. I am I am still new to all of this. So you guys help me and I will make it fair. If you guys can give me suggestions, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Say live, say I say live. Okay, I'll make you but you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's the big thing is I want people to subscribe. I I cannot generate a single penny on YouTube until I have a thousand subscribers. And I I, I need to, I would like to be able to you know have an advertising something to where i can generate a little bit on it um not like dude perfect or anything but damn you know it's just something a couple bucks <laughs> from youtube it used to be but then they changed it to a thousand and that's why i hadn't used youtube in a while um tell you what though, i will make you a deal i need to know what you guys are running more okay so whoever comes up with the best way for me to figure out who how I pull the winners, um, I'll also give you a frame. But it has to, it cannot be one of my, uh, it cannot be you, David, so if you get it, great. But um, I am with the live viewers, but then again, I don't even know how to know who's watching live. I can't see a list because I'm building, so I don't get to see that. So if you guys come up with, whoever comes up with the best thing, I'll, I'll also send you a frame. Just pay for shipping. I'll hand cut your frame here uh, this week. Uh, and I will get it out to you by next week. That's my deal to you. You guys help me and I help you in return by saying thank you and giving you a frame. Okay? Don't make anything off face. I don't make anything off anything. None of this stuff does it. I do this to help everybody else out. There's no money made. Uh, but I would like on YouTube, I mean, they, they, you know, I would like to be able to do something I mean, where I can at least have some commercials. All right, let's just get back to business, shall we? We're building a quad. Enough, enough with all this talk. Let's have some fun. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, off here. Without trying to cut my fingers. I'll just pull this and see. There we go. Okay, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to pull from a live viewer because I cannot see the people watching. That's the problem. I can't see who's watching. Maybe you guys can. I can't. Um, the only other thing we used to do is do a, a number draw. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Tell me how to do it. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Lucian. Pure passion. Let's give him a blue word of mouth. <laughs> yes. Um, Y'all figure it out, I'm telling you. Somebody give me the answer. Whoever gives me the answer, you get yourself a, a, one of these frames too, okay? Um, yeah, I can only see who's commenting. Uh, <laughs> all right, Gerard, you got it. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're working with the top part of this. Um, it is it is a pretty good board. I, I mean, I, I, so far I like it. I have no actually no complaints at all, except that the um, the buzzer and the LEDs are the buzzer pins are very close 
here to the end where these caps are and that really bothered me for soldering but other than that this is a pretty sweet board and that really shouldn't be an issue for someone so here's how it's going to fit um, the way this frame is done the three dots in the front the three holes in the front represent where you can mount your camera on a stand so that is the front of the quad now on mine i turned it sideways and i know you guys don't like this i did this for me i just hard soldered this into the board uh, you, you can keep like a little wire, which I'll put on this one, probably a wire or something. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how this is going to fit. We're going to get this all put together and we're, whoops, and we're going to build this sucker out. Okay, as soon as you guys have a way to do this, you let me know. Uh, I'm not ignoring you by any means. Uh, one other thing I do want to show you is this bottom plate right here uh, is for here and um, the, what it's for is this is where your this is where your receiver goes and this way you gain yourself about two more millimeters on top of the gap of two millimeters so you get about four millimeters total and this can actually be removed uh, so if you have a problem with your receiver or binding or anything you can actually pull this piece off without having to take the whole quad apart that was something that I really wanted to do to make it easier and this worked out real well now I got to find me an R9 uh, MM so give me one second I'm gonna go grab one I'll grab a mini, it's just fine for me for what I'm doing. And we'll get to the binding process. We get to do all of that and have some fun. Okay, so, uh, Michael Lane. Hey, Michael Lane, what's up, big man? How you doing? I appreciate those Diablo videos, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one ready here. <clears throat> and I uh, also need to do, I uh, also need to flash it. So let's go ahead and get that done. And where is my transmitter? Here it is. And I don't know if you guys saw that video this week that I did, but I did test the one file uh, flash update. So far it seems to have worked just fine. So um, that's good news. Uh, it does not guarantee to work. It does not guarantee to work on every device from FrySky, but it did work in this case. Okay. What Ben said. Ben, each time you go live, have numbers assigned to each live viewer. Then when you get ready to go, let me see what he wrote. Give something away. Use that list. Oh man, do you remember when we did this before? Oh, that was that was that number game that we ended up playing, and it was a nightmare. But if you can think, if you think that might work. Uh. So we're gonna do in numbers. Is that right? Is that what we're saying? Okay. If that's what everybody, wait, where are you going, Jeremiah? Are you going to sleep? Bro, man, get out of here with that noise. I still think I can see the subscriber count. I'm still convinced I can see that, guys. I, I don't see how I can't. Um, how to, it says I have 914. How the hell do you see them all? Uh, I want to see all my subscribers. Oh, you're right. Damn it. Uh, screen, which subscriber is not shown? I want to see all my subscribers. Hmm. There's a subscribers report. YouTube. Oh, you can, I, listen, if somebody wants to do this, you can, there's, I'm, I'm reading about this and you can actually sign into YouTube beta and get an analytics report and get your subscribers. So I'm going to figure out how they do that, um, as well and see. So how the hell do you do that? Analytics. I have no idea. If you guys can figure it out, let me know. Cause there is a way now apparently on YouTube beta that you can get your list of subscribers. So See if you can find that out. I'd really like to use a subscriber list. And, uh, and I think I see it right here. There's analytics, so let me see what this says while I'm getting ready for this. What a pain in the ass. All this technology, I can't figure out a damn thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know, but I just, I, I really wanted to do something with the numbers so it would be easier and I cannot 
freaking now it's all backfiring. This is not working in my favor here to try to help and find a way to do this, guys. Why am I racking my brain on this so hard? Can somebody just tell me how to find um, my list of subscribers? And there's got to be a way to do it. See if, hey, if anybody can do a search real quick while I'm getting ready to do this, see if there's a way to, um, I don't know, type in Google how to get a list of all your YouTube subscribers. I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, great. That would be awesome. Now, I've got to get my update cable, so let me do that so I don't delay any longer. Um, let me find that real quick. We can update this. And don't worry. I appreciate y'all helping me work through this. I will make sure that everybody is taken care of. That is my promise to all of y'all, so do not fret. What you can do is try to help me find my darn... You know what? I'll just use this one. I'm just going to switch the wire ground. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this firmware update real quick. Don't pay attention to the wiring on this one because the wiring is all whoppy job because this is for a... Uh, this particular cable is for an X90+. Plus, so the wiring is different than the QX7 when you're doing a flash update. Uh, hey, Sean. There's got to be a way to get the list of everybody. I have no idea. All right, let's just get this going. So we will do this route. Now, because my wiring color is all wrong, because it's for the wrong remote, please, like I said, ignore this and ignore that. And let's just switch these around and our wire will be back to normal. What's up, Sean? Congrats, Toronto! What is that? Maple Leafs, right? Maple Leafs. We've got a lot of family in Montreal. I'm sure that they're really happy. But uh, I'm mean, being that sarcastically. All right, let's see what we got here. I can't see. I'm old. Time to switch cameras to so I can use the old man goggles. going. Come on, Saka! Firmware R9 Mini MM and we're going to do this one and we're going to flash the S port. Tell me my connection's good, please. There we go. Alright, so we're going to flash that. Uh, what is this? David is the FPV weapon. <laughs> you see a list of your 100, 100 channels, 100 most readers go over YouTube. Yeah, I saw that part. That's what I ended up using though. Uh, community security. You can see a list of your yeah, that's the 100. That's exactly what I got. Oh, you can see your total number of subscribers at the top page. Only subscribers who have chosen to share their subscriptions publicly. Okay, so hold on a second. So I'm going to go to... Um, uh, Brian, let's see. So go to uh, Creator Studio, and then you said click Community. I'm going to go to... Can I use Creator Studio Classic? Because uh, I hate this new one. It kills me. Uh, and then Community. Okay, there it is. And then under Community... You said click subscribers. Well, that's where I was before. Are you, are you sure that's all 917? Because it says most recent or most popular. Is that the sorting? I tell you what, we'll find out. I'm doing it with you here, so let's, let's just, while this is firmware's updating, let's go, because that's where I'm at right now. And you guys will be able to catch me real quick. Wow, 
wow, this does look like all of them. And then, oh, hold on. So I, I swear that's the same amount that I got. Right? No, that looks like more. You might be right here. Hold on, let's see. Here we go. Copy. Go to Excel. Click a new book and click paste. Oh, Toronto Raptors. Oh my gosh. That's right. I just got it. Came across my Fox News. Oh, you see, it's the same thing. We're in the same boat. Where it's stopping at whatever here. That's not helping me at all, man. Come on, Brian. You almost got me on that one. It's the same thing I did. We got to get something better than that. Um, all right, all you brainiac guys, y'all figure this out. Y'all are. You, I'm. I'm. I'm the. I'm the. I've the newest person to all this Facebook stuff and YouTube stuff, so help me. Okay, anyways, our flash, our, we flashed our firmware here, so we're good to go with that. So let me go ahead and turn this off, and we're gonna go ahead and mount the uh, receiver and get the wires run for it. Um, and uh, let's see, it is currently, the time is what? Uh, it's almost 11 o'clock, so we have another giveaway coming up. So guys, at 11 o'clock, I'd like to give something else away. So hopefully you guys help me get to this, find a solution. And while we're doing that, let me go ahead and get this receiver ready. Okay. All right. Let's get the receiver ready. <laughs> right now I just got to figure out how to get how to pick the winners here you know I mean I really don't care I, I want you guys to just have fun to me it's if, I, if somebody's going to win something I win it. as long as they're happy and everybody's happy that's all that matters okay time to go back to the old man goggles so um, sorry you're not going to get the toilet bowl toilet bowl camera um, let's go ahead and get this thing soldered up Oh, you know what? I did want something different here. I wonder if this will help you guys. I'll let you guys decide. Number game. I mean, that's, that's killing me. But if that's all we got for right now, that's not my solution. But that, if that's all we got for right now, that's fine. So I tell you what, that's fine. You guys keep track if you want. I hate to do that to you all, but if you want to keep track of the numbers, um, uh, I will, I will, let's see. I'll do a number draw between... You gotta be a subscriber, okay? So let's make sure we got that right. Um, I'll do a number draw between uh, uh, we'll do one and a hundred. Uh, I mean, because I, I have a live count here, so let's do between one and a hundred for right now, and uh, and then uh, at eleven o'clock we'll make that drawing using the random uh, generator. So you guys keep track. Do not repeat the numbers. If you do, the person who put the number down first is the one that gets credit for it. So please keep track of the numbers you use. Ben, that's a very easy number to remember. Good job. Um, all right. And then somebody keep track of it, please, if you would. Uh, Lucian, if you're going to, that'd be great. What was I doing here? Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm going to show you. I did this angle. I tested this angle out, and it actually worked out pretty good. So if you guys like it, I'll put this camera up there as well. But it actually gave a very close uh, close-up of the work that I was doing. So... Maybe that'll be something you guys like. I don't know. Let me see. But the damn thing's upside down, so hold on. This might actually be good for you guys. Bear with me a second. Because this sucker here gives a pretty good close-up of what's being worked on. There. So let's see if you guys like that. So this way, I think I can zoom in much better on the part being soldered as long as I keep it within range. Right there, all right? So that's a better angle, right? Gives you a better, a clearer shot. 
I've got 35 seconds to wait for you to answer me, but um, when you do answer me, if you say you like that, then we're going to leave it like that. All right. And now I need to find this right here. I just need to know how to get all my subscribers out of on YouTube. How do I find but you know what? I can see the I can see the idea that but you know, I don't know. I mean I, I would like to be able to also give the YouTube because the point being is to subscribe on YouTube. Um where the hell's the beginning of this tape? I don't know. I'll have to do some more research on it too. I apologize guys. I thought I had it down, but you just pointed something out to me that's very true. Okay, it's good. Okay, good. So we're gonna leave that like that, and this way I can work, and you guys can see some of the soldering, I guess, a little bit better than from that other angle. Okay, so let's get to it. Time to work. Can you see me? My eyes look really big. Like, is it? What does that look like? What the hell's going on? Yeah, check this out. See? I don't know what that looks like. Does that look really look bad? Can you see me? Oh, okay. Just thought I'd check. Hmm. Right. Let's do some work now, shall we? All right, so I've already tinned the wires. I mean, I've already tinned the uh, receiver. So now I'm just going to go ahead and, I mean, I've already uh, put the flux on it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tin it up real quick. Um, and I'll leave it like that for now. And then we'll go ahead and get the wire ready. And then if you guys want to remind me at 11 o'clock, which is about one minute from now, we'll go ahead and draw another winner for something. Every hour, or maybe every half hour, we'll start doing that. Uh, I'll leave this wire long for now. All right, so let's strip this wire. Okay, as soon as, uh, wait, holes up. Ryan, did you come up with something? You know, I can do something on the website where you guys can enter on there before the show, and then I can just randomly pick from the names, but you have to be subscribed. That's the big thing. More subscribers, and then guys, please tell other people about the Facebook or the YouTube channel. I know it's not the best channel out there as far as, I'm not, I don't know, but if, if you could help, that'd be great. Uh, barely nine here. Okay, so uh, whenever you guys, uh, I'm going to wait. Uh, I'll need two people to tell me we're good to do the drawing. Brian, since you are, you said wait for something. I don't know what it was, but I need you to tell me we're good to draw. And then um, uh, uh, Lucian or David or somebody, let me know when I can do the drawing. And I'll do the random number generating now. And uh, that way we can have our next winner. Please and thank you. And I'll look up here in just a second. I got 35 seconds from the time I say that before you guys can respond. So let me just get this thing tinned up real quick. All right. Oh, that's right. If you guys are looking at that camera, you can't see what I'm doing. So hold on a second. That doesn't help you at all, does it? Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Here, I'm going to go ahead and saw this anyway. I mean, today my goal is to throw the trash away as I create it so that I don't have this crap all over the place. I uh, just need tweezers real quick. All right. good there all right so our uh our receiver's done this is about as far as what does it say watch the video pick a random youtube pick, pick a random video on youtube have everyone commit them let me see hey bro it's because you're playing too much uh what's happening are we ready to 
draw. Are we ready to do the drawing? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what all these sounds mean. Like, are you? What does that mean? I don't know what the hell that means. I don't, sounds like you're an angry Arab. Like one of my family members yelling at me right now. Oh, uh, wait. Well, Gerard, I have <laughs> messed up tons of equipment <laughs> to be able to solder properly. So you too can solder if you want to go through half your inventory and ruin it all. Uh, let me get a heat shrink and uh, get this sucker secured. Uh, are we doing the drawing, guys? Are we ready? Is everybody ready for the next drawing? All I need is a yes. Somebody say yes. Just yes. I don't know what IU and all this stuff means, so just yes or no. That's, that would help me. Okay, so now we can switch back and go here. And bam, there we go, okay. get it out of the way all right so uh we're good there uh send it yes oh okay everybody's saying yes sorry i was looking away okay good so here we go random generating number coming right up to the next drawing and watermelon shut up aaron <sighs> okay here we go so random 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 what did i say one in a hundred right yeah so one in a hundred so let me clear this out and put 100. Remember, I can't see you guys' comments while I'm doing this because, you know what, I should just put this on my computer so I can see what the hell's going on. Hold on. Damn it. It's all this stuff, too much crap going on around here. Facebook, there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm pulling you guys up here real quick, so bear with me so I can at least see what's going on in there. So hurry up, please, and thank you. Whatever, here goes. One in 100. You guys tell me who wins. Oh, uh, what did we agree as far as, uh, where are we at on if you go over or under or whatever? So is it person without going over? I want you guys, I want us to all be on the same page here. So where are we at with that? Somebody give me some uh, information on that, please. Anybody. I don't know if this is refreshing on the comments, but if you can let me know that, that'd be great. Here, let me just see what you guys are saying. Okay, so uh, watermelon. Yeah, so if we go, if you go over, what's the what's the rule on the winner? Is he going over, under, or what? How does it work? Can't go over. I'm with you on that one. Can't go over. So okay, fair enough. So if you have 37 and the number's 38. Then, closest without going over. This is like Price is Right. Okay, so we all agree? All right, Michael Parrish got his last number. Whatever. No, you got. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, if you're 38 and it goes 39, you're out then. So, it would go to the person next, right? Or is that right? Is that right or am I wrong with that? You guys have to tell me. I don't know. It's all new to me. I need to build this quad, so let's just 10. Brian, you can't. Say numbers. Um, we good? So we're good? Okay, so if you have, so you can't go over. Meaning, the number, if the number passes you. Oh, I don't care, yeah, add the numbers, banana. I got it, thanks, Aaron. Uh, so uh, guys, real quickly, so we agree, if you have like a 10 and the number is 11, are you out then because it's under, it's above your number or if you have 11 and the number's 10, it doesn't count because you went over the number. Which one is it, guys? So I know without mistakes. You know what? I'm just going to pick a number and then we'll figure it out. Uh, uh, I, I think if, if the number goes over your number, it goes to the next person, I guess. I guess. So if you're number one, you're screwed unless you get one. <laughs> 
That sucks. No, whatever. We'll figure it out, man. I mean, this is just too much fun for me. All right, here goes. Let me just do a random number, damn it. All right, between 1 and 100, generate. Number 4. Oh, whoever is number 4, now we'll figure it out after that. So number 4 is the number. So please let me know who got that. And we'll take it from there. Now let me put my phone back so I can read how much hazing I'm going to get for doing this and not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Okay, number four was the winning number. Now time for me to get back to work. Lucian, if you will please tell me who won, I'd appreciate it. Oh, guys, I will get it down eventually. I'm so worried about pissing everybody off. I don't know what the right way to do it is, I guess. One minute I think I got it, next minute something goes screwy. So let's just get the damn receiver done on this thing so we can build a quad. And if you have any build questions or anything while I'm doing this, please just ask me. All right. So on this one, um, to get this to whoops, to get this to fit properly, got to find my part now. All this yip yapping I'm doing, and I don't know where the hell I put my parts. Hold on. Who won? Oh, he won for real. Wait. Okay. See, now there's an argument here. Uh oh. Number one wins. Okay, I'll go with it. So number whatever you guys decide. I'm not here to cause problems, so if there's a discrepancy, uh, we will figure it out and make everybody happy, please. All right, uh, again, it's our first time to try to figure out this sloppy way of doing it. My, I apologize, but okay. So on this one, what we're gonna do, and this is what we've, I did earlier on the build, is I'm just gonna go ahead and put a drop of hot glue right there, right? And then I'm gonna place this right in the center, and then, whoops, 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 whoops. hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to show you something different because I actually did this different. So hold on. Let me get that back off. And we will do it again because I want to put it upside down, actually. I remember I changed my mind on this after I did the build because the bind button will be on the bottom then. So you want to place it, right? And then flip it over and then move it to where you can see your bind button, which, as you can see, is right there. This way you can bind this from the bottom of the quad and not have to mess with it. Okay, so uh, one wins. Okay, all right. Okay, I got you, I got you. So it's the person going over, I got you. Okay, so that works then. So if the number's two, everybody loses except, no, I got you. Number's five, then, okay, makes sense. So is everybody cool with this? If we do it like that, does anybody have any, until we can figure out how to get a list of all the subscribers. Now, Ben, you are, it was Ben, right? Who was it? Okay, close this, no, all right. <laughs> Y'all figure it out, man. I just want to give shit away. Okay, I want, I want to thank everybody for supporting my stuff. And this is the best way for me to do it. All right, so if you're looking at this build, though, getting back to the build, because that is what this is about, kind of. Um, so the way I did this was I, you know, I've got these two holes down here. And I mounted it and turned it so you can reach the bind button, right? Um, the glue on this is Gorilla Glue. I use, a, I use the Gorilla Hot Glue. This sucker's not going anywhere. So um, we're good with that. Uh, ben, congratulations on that. Um, I, uh, so make sure to get in with me and I'll send you one of these. Uh, helping hands as well. And then uh, it's 11 o'clock we did our drawing. So at 11.30, let's do a drawing for... I don't know. Y'all figure out what you want to do a drawing for. That's a fun drawing on the half hour mark. And we'll do another one, okay? And we'll just keep doing these tonight to have some fun. Um, all right, so there's that. And as you can see, what will happen is when this pops in here... It'll actually bolt into the 2020 uh, mounts. Let me turn it this way. Let me zoom out a little bit. And it'll it'll bolt in like this. And you see how it can kind of it can go in and out without having to remove any of the components. So if anything goes wrong with your transmitter or you need to do any work on it or any updates on it, uh, it's very easy to just take out the four screws and you can take your transmitter out. But it'll sit right there. And the cool part is, is the arms, as you'll see here, they actually lock around it. All right. So that all that piece actually has a purpose of keeping the arms in place as well. Okay. So let's go ahead now and get started, shall we? Like for the 50th time. Michael, sorry, man. I wanted to do it earlier, brother, um, but uh, I appreciate your support. Michael Lane, guys, Michael's a great guy. 
and he put some videos up of our, our, our friend that we sent him. Appreciate you, Michael, for all your help and support, my friend. Oh, now I can see my stuff on the computer. This is getting better by the minute. Get rid of this trash. Get going here. Gerard, take care, my friend. Thank you as well for your support. Sorry, guys. I know this kind of got a, 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 a slow start. I promise you I'll make it faster and, and uh, stay on topic a little bit more. I'm just really excited to be doing this build tonight, and I guess I get a little carried away. But y'all you know, are great, and I appreciate y'all very much. Um, Brian, will you send that to me in an email? Because I'm not going to see this. I probably won't see that because it just keeps scrolling up. But if you could send that to me, man, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so now let me just get focused on here because I know this is why we're here. So let me go ahead and knock this out. I'm going to put the arms in real quick. Oh, that's right. And on this one, I did do something different. I used a metal uh, nut to hold that in place and then put a plastic washer on top of it. All right, so we got a subscriber. We just don't know how to get the full read on them. Thanks, Brian. I mean, my thing is, why not just keep everybody's number the same for the whole night? And I don't know. I'll have to figure this out. I've got to come up with something better because um, it's also more difficult when you're giving more prizes than just one away in a night. So there's obviously some things I need to work on with this. I apologize for not being uh, fully uh, prepared. I thought it was going to be easier, but nope. All right. So first thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and put our receiver in. That uses the 2020 stack. So let me go ahead and get the antenna in, get the wires in. And we should be good to go. Okay, so you see how that's gonna fit there real well. So once that locks in place, so now you've got the arm lock from the motors, I mean from the arms, but you also have the square plate uh, sitting in place. So that's uh, working out real well to keep it solid. So let me just go ahead and tighten this down a little bit. Ooh, my wife's yelling at the dog. I don't know if y'all can hear her. She's like, lay down. They must be making her mad. By the way, I have these tool sets. Uh, what, when is this frame? It's actually, um, it's online now. Uh, I put it on, I think this morning. Uh, uh, so if you go to the Diablo, uh, it's under the Diablo uh, link. So if you click that one, uh, you should be able to see it there uh, on that page. Uh, by the way, uh, like I was saying, I've had these tools I had this kit, and I've got I've got a hundred kits here probably. I didn't even know I had these. 
Um, I've been using those ratchet that ratchet set, and then I found these, and I'm like, man, these are great. So I will tell you guys, um, this tool set right here is I really do like this one. I mean, it really comes in handy, pretty solid. Um, and I think right now we had the Emacs quads on sale and some other stuff, but uh, I'm gonna put these tools on sale too here in just a little bit. Oh boy, Lucian, you're gonna go crazy. I don't think Lucian's keeping up with the numbers. I think he's lost his mind. I'll come up with a better, I'll come up with a better plan, I promise. But tonight, let's just give everybody some stuff, man. Let's have some fun. Okay, so we got our receiver in. We got our arms arms in. Uh, like I said, these are the two millimeter only because I was cutting a two millimeter plate today. Um, they are they are three millimeter arms. Um, where the hell is the claw? Oh, here. So they are three millimeter thick, thick regular. Um, but for this build, just because I was cutting a two millimeter plate and I wasn't gonna have time to cut a three mil for this, but they do come with. And then as you notice, guys, um, the frames now, parts of the frames do have lifetime warranties. On this frame, uh, it's the base plate. Uh, here, I'll show you on this built piece. So it's the base plate, the battery plate, and the top camera plate. So any of those break, uh, basically send me a picture of it. And uh, all you have to do is pay shipping and send you a new one, okay? So the arms will not. So that is one thing I've decided I'm not gonna put lifetime warranties on. There's no way. I've seen how everybody flies. It's not happening. But on some parts of the frame, this is the battery plate here. It's a very strong plate. I, I feel comfortable about the main plates. That way you guys don't have to worry about that, okay? So you just let me know, send me a picture, and you get another one. And that's on uh, the Genesis Diablo, and then there'll be some more, but these are the ones that are coming to mind right now. All right. Um, where am I at now? Okay, so the board. So on this board, we're gonna turn this again, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get the motors out and get started. Oh, I do wanna show you something uh, also that will be ready tomorrow. Uh, I worked on this for a gentleman. It was, uh, it was at a request. I have to give, uh, I have to make sure that I make the right comment on this though, so bear with me a second. I'm sitting here trying to do this at the same time. There is a cool quad that I made for someone, um, and it's actually, I believe, or some a child that he knows and I don't know the full story behind it but all I know is I'm really proud of this project um, I do have to give props to the actual artist of it because I don't know the person but if I can show you this real quick um, this is a dragon quad now it is I've taken a motor off because this was the preliminary frame mm -hmm. but I want you to see this it's really cool um, the final will be done tomorrow uh, so here it is um, it's in the shape, I don't know if you can see that with all this, but it's in the, it's, it, it looks like a, it's supposed to be like a flying dragon, right? Um, now I have to give props on this one and I give credits to it. So the drawing is not mine. It had, the drawing, original drawing has been modified. So what you see now is mine, but the initial idea came from a, um, a micro, I don't know, some really, really tiny quad, I guess. And so what I did is I blew it up, changed some of the things. And this is for this is going out to a uh, I guess a, a, a cool young child that's going to get an awesome awesome frame. Uh, so anyways, this was the preliminary frame at two millimeters. It's actually being cut at three, and it's supposed to be really cool. So I'm really excited about that. But I don't want to sit there and say that I had the um, I borrowed a dragon drawing and turned it into a quad. That's probably the best way to word it. I think I don't know, um, but it was sent to me. I didn't I didn't do that. And I have written the person that did the, did the initial drawing. I have not heard back from them, but I want them to know that I am giving them credit for the work if they will just write me back. Um, so there's that. No, I was doing something. Oh, yeah. Lucian, you're going to make everybody want to kill you by the end of tonight. Sorry, guys. Kill Lucian. Don't get mad at me. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to bring our uh, receiver wire up through here. We'll terminate that, and now let's get our motors.
Okay, these are going to be 65 uh, millimeter long wires. This I remember from doing the build yesterday. So I have my heat shrink already cut to 65 millimeters, which is right here. So it's really simple. Just take the heat shrink and slide it over the wire down to the base like that. And then snip off the excess and you have the exact wire length that you need to make these wires perfect. And they will reach perfectly, see? Little, little quick tricks so that you don't have to sit there all day and try to make sure your wires match. Just get one heat shrink and do it that way. And we'll throw that box out. Uh, Jeff, that is the, um, uh, uh, right here, Multistar. Um, uh, let me see. I don't know what the other details are about it. Anyways, it's a 4-in-1 Multistar with a 30-amp uh, ESC. It runs D-Shot 600. Uh, it's got OSD on it, so it's uh, got OSD, it's got the ESC, and, uh, and I've got them on the website. If you want to go, if you go to the website, you'll see them. Um, as soon as I'm done building this stack, by the way, because if you go now, you'll see that the um, Diablo S3 is online, and the picture is actually of this one, which is the exact same build. It's running the same board. Um, that is going to be the bind and fly setup as well, and so I'll have the list of all the components in there with a the price. I am going to push to start building more of the quads for people. I've been asked a lot more to do that, and I've tried to not do it because I wanted people to do it on their own. But to help everyone out, that is something I'm going to be doing more of. And so you'll get the price for a bind and fly here shortly. But uh, should be pretty good. But yeah, that's a. Uh, I got the. Um, I got that from Hobby King actually, um, and uh, they had a pretty good deal on them at one time, and I picked up a handful of them. So that's one I wanted to try to use. Also to show that this can do a 30-30 stack. Uh, and that came at the request of Adam. Uh, so Adam, thanks a lot for your input on that. Uh, he's Adam actually won the frame during a Genesis giveaway, but cannot fly a larger frame where he's at. He has to go with a smaller frame. And so I said, hey, give me an idea of what you'd like to see in a smaller frame. And he did, and part of that was a 30-30 stack, wider arms that are durable, and so forth, and so thanks to him for his input. Yeah, that's an all-in-one. I mean, it's this this is definitely an all-in-one. Um, but like I said, that's to get it down to 33, or to get it down to 10 millimeters. All right. If you don't care about the height and you want to go to 15 millimeters, you can do multiple things. And I'll show you here in a second how the VTX is going to go, and then you'll see how it all fits. Where's my uh, trying to find my little 65? Heat shrink measuring, there it is. All right, so we almost got all four motors ready. Okay, so let's get this mess cleaned up. Make sure we get everything. Everything looks good here. Our receiver is good. Um, this is the front. This will go this way. And so we are safe now to go ahead and tighten down our flight controller. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. It's a, actually, I'll be honest with you, if I'm not talking, which is hard, but if I'm not talking and doing this like with the live thing, this build is about a one hour build. Um, I was really impressed with how fast this build went together when I when I finished it. Um, it's very simple because of the board. Thank God the board makes it a lot easier. Um, so uh, if you guys ever want to try this build, uh, there will be a, a, a DIY price if you want to build it on your own, which I, I mean, I, I think you guys should try. It's a pretty easy board to solder to. Um, there's plenty of room here, unless you're going to get to the buzzer. The buzzer, I, I, like I said, I was really not happy with how, how, how tight the buzzer portion was, but that's neither here nor there. It still got together just fine. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have some fun, bro, that's for sure. You will have some fun. Okay, so, I mean, for all purposes, that's it, right? I mean, that as far as that goes. Now, let me show you how the, while that's sitting there getting ready, let me show you how the VTX works. So, I did this for the HDLRC VTX. I really do like this VTX. 
Um, and uh, I wanted to make it easy to use. Now you can use any VTX. There are, um, there is uh, uh, the mount right here for it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and mount that real quick. And you have, uh, these are 2020 spaced apart, by the way. So uh, you should have no problem there. Um, so let me show you how this is gonna mount. Now on this cut, this is uh, a cut for me. There is actually uh, on, the, on the final frame, and I pulled this off before I even checked this. If you look at this one here, you'll see that there are 2020 holes in the back. Um, I did not cut through on this one, but there are dual mount. So don't worry about that. But let me go ahead and just show you how this looks. Oh, and our new, uh, one of the new things we're doing, guys, is our new vinyl system is here. So we're actually um, doing all the vinyl overlays uh, for your quad, which is really cool. I mean, um, you know how you get those stickers and decals or whatever that cover the frame? Well, I'm doing those in-house now. So I'm really excited. I'll be showing you what those look like, too. Um, but let me just give you an idea of what this is going to look like here. Now, like I said, it was done with the HDLRC, but you can use whatever VTX you want. If it doesn't fit this way, it'll still fit on the 2020, so don't panic about that. Um, if you're using a 2020, it'll fit the holes or line no matter what. But I did do that cutout for this one, uh, and I didn't see any problem with it at the time. So hopefully you guys can benefit from that. And most of the VTXs start taking the same shape. Oh, Paul, I just showed them that dragon one, bud. Paul's the guy getting that dragon one, by the way. Um, all right, so you see how that is now. So as this sits on here, you'll be able to see your channel change and then your antenna goes right here, right? Um, now, if you don't use this, like I said, if you don't use this VTX, it's fine. You can still lay yours out accordingly, but I just wanted to put that in there as a feature. And then I reinforce the arms. If you look at mine, the arms are rather thin here. Uh, I'm not the arms, but the extension area for the LiPo strap. So what I did was I actually widened it here and brought it in. So there's definitely more strength. And then as you can see, the strap weaves through so you can, don't have to worry about your clearance underneath the frame. And then all I did was lay the strap across, take a knife, and then cut that path out. So my battery sticks on the side. This lays and makes it almost perfectly even across. So my battery gets a solid, um, very solid, uh, what do call it? It fastens very solid to it. So anyway, that's that. All right, let me get the, um, let me get these arms mounted. Uh, Paul, I'm, I'm excited for uh, yours. Uh, I may do something live tomorrow with that dragon, Paul. I don't know. I'm going to try to see uh, what time permits, but uh, I appreciate you. Uh, Paul has had a tremendous amount of patience with me getting this thing done. I mean, it has been it has been taking a while for me to get going and get it going, but I'm really excited about how it's going to turn out. So... And don't forget, you've got to be subscribed to our YouTube channel, guys. That's that's the other thing is even though if your number gets picked, um, you've got to be on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, please. And that's only because I need the help to help it grow. So pass it out. Help it out. I've got more videos going up there. Um, I'm going to do 10 flight controllers, uh, a 10 flight controller video on building, on assembly. Uh, it'll be 10 in one day. So I'll be doing that, I think. Uh, one of the nights this weekend where you can just watch and I'm going to do 10 flight controller installation how to connect them how to wire them uh, back to back so this way we can knock some out and everybody can get a little piece of information for what they need all right so there we go with that now our arms are on our flight controllers in our receivers in and now we just put some of this crap away and get going and are we at the 1130 mark oh we are we ready Lucian when we're ready uh, when we're ready, you let me know, okay? I, I will look up at the screen again in just a second. Right now, I just want to make sure I get this going. All right, let's get the motors done. So we're going to go ahead and tin the motor wire real quick.
Yes, there is. Um, I think it's on the website under the Diablo. Oh, uh, are you talking about for this Diablo or the other Diablo? Are you talking about for the three inch? Uh, if you're asking about the three inch, no, I did not change the base. There is one for the five inch and it's gonna be the same for the three inch, just the base will be smaller. But if you'll um, send me a message on that to remind me, I can have it ready tomorrow. You don't care to win, Michael. My gosh, that's the first time I've heard you say that. Um, and right now I can't help you with your Zeus Olin one, but I did get your message and responded to you about it. Uh, and yours is not working because you need to flash it, I think, or try to flash it. So um, you were asking about a video and I believe I did find it. And as soon as I'm done here, I'll send you the link. And uh, that will be getting you taken care of, my friend. Okay, so we got the motors ready. So let's go ahead and get them tinned up. On my Diablo with X rotor micro FC combo, do I have to invert the UART6 for OSD? Hold on, your comment, your question is kind of half cut. Also, can you talk about motor protocols a bit? Okay, so um, let's get first on inverting the UART. Um, for OSD, hold on, there's my wife. Hey, Mama. Now? Uh, I just got done. Relax, don't worry about it. I'll go after. I'll go after. You know what you can do? Can you give me a, can you fill up my cold drink? Yeah, are you done? Yeah, I finished that a while ago. Sorry, guys, one second. I gotta get my... Thank you. Love you, Mama. Love you. Appreciate you. Um, okay, so I'll have to... Yeah, I'll get it to you, Michael. I promise. Um, sorry, I will make sure to get that to you. I have to think about that. Uh, invert the... You, no, you don't have to invert for the OSD, but I'm kind of trying to understand what... Do I have to invert the UART6 for OSD? What on the David, what on the OSD? What is it that you're trying to do? What board was it again on there? Because I'm not really sure I'm understanding the question, to be honest with you. So I'll wait for you to let me know about that, and then I can help answer it. i got to remember the board right now. I'm not remembering the board. Let's go ahead and get this soldered. Ooh, I almost made that mistake, didn't I? Give me a little bit of information on that and I'll be able to, I just don't remember right now what board that was, but I don't see why on OSD, unless you're talking about getting telemetry. And if you're talking about telemetry, um, it's gonna come down to the receiver, but uh, you should be fine. I don't know which receiver, you either got the mini or the MM. <laughs> Shut up, Lucian. That, no, please don't do that, guys. I know we can do that. Just Lucian. Lucian's the only one with purple hair, I think. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome, babe. Are you going to bed? I'm going to go fold the laundry and then shower, probably. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. How's it going? It's going. Everybody says hi, right? Hello. Everybody says hi, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting this quad built. I can't figure out how to give anything away because I thought I had all my subscribers figured out to where I could pull their names, and I found out I'm only pulling the top 100, like the most recent 100, so that screwed up. So now well, we're trying. Just let me just say a random name. No, you're not doing a random name. No, that's out. Oh man, I got a carbon fiber piece. Nice. Right, well, I love you. Hey, I got a splinter. You're supposed to help me get this out. Ooh. You're, you're, I got targeted to me or your followers. Here, 
your watchers. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll just cut it out on my own. Thank you for your help. I love you. Love you. That's a nasty piece of carbon fiber in my finger. Hold on, guys. God. Darn. Ouch. Nikes. One second. God, this carbon fiber hurt or what? Sorry, technical difficulties here. This thing's been hurting me all day, and I just happened to look down and see it. That's a pretty piece. God darn. It's about two millimeters long. That hurts. All right. Carbon fiber's out. Finger's good. Back to work. Is that Paul Paul? You talking crap to me? <laughs> I'm manning up. Damn it. Did it hurt? I got it out. All right. Motors are ready. Let's go ahead and get some uh, heat shrink on them. And let's get these suckers going. Uh, where the hell did I put my drink? Oh, Lord. I think it's on the other side. I'm going to just grab what I got here. Let's use a cool color. Why? There you go. Let's do... I got an idea. Let's have some fun with this. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Anything to get viewers. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, y'all quit talking crap about my, my splinters. They hurt. I got a video. I'm telling you, it's a gory video. I had to dig one out. And I did it under a microscope that recorded it. And it looks brutal. But that was that was that was pretty deep. That one sucked. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do this. One. Two. Three. Pick a number, Lawrence. I wanna give another helping hands away. Or maybe something else, whatever. You guys decide. I like the helping hands, but if y'all want like a tool set or something, let me know. It's the wrong size. Lucian, you tell me go, and uh, I'll do the drawing. What am I shrink tubing? My finger? Pass. Uh, duct tape is my go-to now. Well, this is a pretty good build. It's an easy build. So. <laughs> you guys really suck um, on. Go. He said go. Okay. All right, here goes. Anybody else subbed to, to YouTube that wants to enter? See. Okay. So here goes. I'm going to go ahead and do the um, drawing. And then we're going to get the heat shrinking these. Let me put this away real quick. All right, here we go. Uh, pull this up. Random generator. There we go. Okay, uh, what are we doing? One to a hundred, right? 
Is that right? One to a hundred? Um, yeah, mobile definitely has a, a shorter delay than the screen. I think it's one to a hundred. So if it's one to a hundred, here we go. 90. 90 is the number. Y'all let me know who it is. And uh, please, if it, just make sure you're a subscriber on YouTube. I, that's the only rule I ask, so uh, you can let me know that. Okay. Now, while that's going on, let me get my motors ready, please. Hey, congrats. Congratulations to you, Kara, uh, or Kara. I assume it's Kara, but if I'm wrong, I apologize. Congratulations to you. Nice job. Uh, make sure to hit me up to uh, uh, make sure that's that done for you. And also just, uh, these, are, um, these are the uh, Tornadoes. These are the, well, it's Chaos Series, but it's a Tornado 1407 Series 3700, or sorry, 3600 KV. Yeah, 3,600 KVs. Um, yeah, these are really powerful motors. I'm extremely impressed with them. Uh, Brother Javi made them for us, and it's been really, really good. Uh, the only problem is this is 2 millimeter, and I needed to do something better than that for this, so I'm just going to have to go with a different... Uh... I'll just use this. That's fine. I don't think it's going to go through, but it'll be close. Let me just not crank it down that way because it really should be a three millimeter arm. So the screws are about a millimeter longer than I would like, but hey, it'll work. All right, so now uh, let's see what else we got. That's three items I think we've given away. I think, I don't know, I think I may have given four because I said somebody's name wrong. I have no idea, but whoever, whatever, no problem. Uh, you guys just let me know what we are gonna go away next. And we shall do it. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate y'all. I just try to have fun with y'all. That's the best part. Let's have fun.
Yeah, there was a lot of frames, uh, but a lot of them, um, you know, there's, I've, you know, after looking at what people have asked for, and I've changed some things up, and so uh, a lot of them are getting uh, redone, uh, or, I mean, the ones that are on there now are, are, are it. The ones that are under Diablo, Leviticus, and uh, Genesis uh, are, they're staying. Um, now it's uh, some X class work, uh, and uh, and then some some really cool stuff. But uh, carbon. I talked to David today about doing carbon fiber molding. I guess uh, you know the equipment's here to do it. I just haven't had a big. I didn't have a lot of people that really seem interested in having carbon fiber molded. But uh, I used to do fiberglass molding, and then I did carbon fiber molding. So I think we're going to go ahead and get bring that back out and see if people are interested in it now. Um, and then uh, we've got a few other things up our sleeves that we're about to do, so I promise you guys will be happy. I hope. And everything's in stock here, so if you see, um, yeah, and I did change the site up. I did some edits to the site this weekend or this week to where the drop downs were easier. But uh, one of the things to note is that everything that you see on the site, if it's available, meaning it doesn't say out of stock, and there's very few things that say out of stock, it's here in Texas, right? It's here, like right behind me. I mean, everything that I have is sitting in two rooms around me. So you don't have to worry about it coming from overseas or delayed shipping. Um, I can't promise you I'm not going to screw up your order, though. I accidentally sent 3S batteries to Australia instead of 4S batteries. So, because the error was on me and it's my fault, um, I replaced the batteries and paid for the shipping, which was... I, I paid for, I, so anyway, the point being is I took care of the guy. He, he was very nice to be patient with me, and it takes a while to ship things to Australia, so I got him, I think four day or five day shipping now with the right battery. So, I mean, when we make our errors too, please understand it happens. <laughs> Can't do it all right, but we keep everything here so we can at least take care of you guys. You have nothing to worry about in that regard. We may end up with five extra batteries or something because I got sidetracked. I tried to have my, my youngest son, um, he's about to turn eight and I actually gave him a job so he could earn some money by helping me <laughs> and my wife pack shipments. He helped me on those batteries, but I'm gonna take the blame for it. But hey, at least he wants to work to make money. He sees the value of it. Three print of what? That's Lucian, Where, I mean, there's Bryce. Bryce, this is Bryce, guys. Bryce is doing um, some of our 3D printing. What 3D printing? What? Oh, uh, are you guys telling me what you want me to give away? Okay. Okay. You guys do. I'm going to let my guys figure it out. So Lucian and Bryce and David and Aaron, if you guys are still on there. Uh, I don't think John's on right now. Y'all figure out. Listen to what they're asking for. What's up, big Bryce? Uh, and guys, Bryce is doing our 3D prints for our customers. He's one of the, you know, he's, he's got all the material to do it. Um, so we do also have a couple other guys that are doing it who have asked to do it. I think Stephen Klein was one of them. But Bryce is uh, somebody who's in direct contact with me. He's obviously uh, one of the pilots for our team. And he is a very, very brilliant, for, what are you, 14, Bryce? You're still 14 or are you 15? I think he's 14. Wait, maybe he turned 15. Just had his birthday not too long ago. Uh, but... Uh, any 3D prints, he gets the STL files, he takes care of it, so. Yeah, well, uh, Brandon, I'm letting the battery deal run and, until they sell out. It wasn't a time, I'm, I don't like these time sales, man. I really, I really don't like them. So it's kind of until the inventory runs out. Um, you know, so have at it. These time sales just make people have to spend money when they may not have it available. I hate that feeling. So just, they're there till we sell out, okay? So hopefully that gives everybody enough time. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, when you guys are ready to tell me what we're giving away next, please, you let me know. Uh, I am all ears. I will make sure my guys don't get crazy with the options, but I'm pretty flexible. What's the next price? A 3D print? Oh yeah, Bryce, you're 15, that's right, okay. So, um, well, Bryce is a very smart 15 year old kid. And, uh, and uh, very smart kid, very smart. So, uh, okay, so we're doing, what, what's the next giveaway? A 3D print? I don't understand, is that what I'm giving away? Is that what everybody agreed on? Of all the stuff here, you guys are taking a 3D print? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's what you want, that's what you want. You got all night. I'm going to keep giving stuff away. So, giving a quad. Brian, you are smoking the crack. I'm not giving a quad away. That is not happening tonight. Not a, not a full build quad. That's crazy. But I appreciate you going for gold. Lucian, I still don't know what the prize is. So, when you guys are ready to figure it out, y'all tell me. Micro cam. Uh, I could do a Cadex, maybe. I've got a Cadex here. I don't mind doing a Cadex. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate that, Lawrence. Hey, uh, you guys want to do a Cadex camera? Let's just, let me just kind of get this ball rolling. How about we give a Cadex camera away? <laughs> and, and then we'll just follow Brian's lead and just give a Ferrari right after it, you know? Uh, let's do a Cadex uh, camera. Everybody on board with that? Say I, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! That hurt. Sorry. <laughs> you better subscribe. Uh, okay, cat camera it is. So um, yeah, no Ferrari. Sorry. Um. But you know what I am going to do, though? One of the things I'm going to do is I'm doing... I don't know how many of y'all... Well, I don't know if any of y'all would actually need this stuff, but I'm doing some carbon fiber work. Um, I'm making a poker chip set out of carbon fiber. I'm really excited about this because, you know, I, I poker's a great game and stuff. And so uh, I'm going to be making a poker chip set out of carbon fiber with inlays to differentiate the chips. And uh, I may start... I may work on that and show you guys what that looks like. It's like a side project. Maybe give my dad for Father's Day. All right. So, Caddox Camera it is. So, um, you guys, uh, let me know when you're ready. I'm waiting for somebody to say, go for it. And we go. Is it? Oh, shit. You're right. Oh, my God. Thank you, David. Thanks for paying attention. That's what happens when I start talking. <laughs> God, thanks. Thanks for saving my ass on that one. Where are the rest of y'all? Jeez. I was testing you. I was testing you. Grady, you're the man. Wait, who said it? No, David. Whoever said it. Y'all, well, whoever is David, was it you? Thanks for uh, watching. It's the last thing I need. Well, yeah, slightly. 
Okay, uh, let me know when you're ready. I'll wait to hear the word. Tell me ready, and we go. Same pull, 1 to 100. So... Oh yeah, the Mark IV. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I have. I have two of the Mark IVs, Mark II sitting right here. Yeah, they're a chunk of change, that's for sure. <sighs> but they they print a hell of a print, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's it's really impressive what they print and how they print. But oh, I tell you what, if they could print money. It'd be helping me pay me back for those damn things. Matter of fact, let me see if I can figure this out. Boom, boom, doom. Come on, stupid. There we go. Where is that? Is that that one? Yep. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Through this mess. Oops. Right. Where's my finger at? Right there. That's one of them, and then there's another one on the other side of it. There, and uh, they sit there and they print, and they do good prints for me uh, all day long if I need. Mm, that was not fun to try to figure out that damn camera. Okay. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Three D systems make some hella fine stuff, bro. But I'm not at that caliber. The only thing I'm thinking about getting is the Mark Forge, the Mark X metal printer. But I don't see a reason for it right now, but I've been waiting for it. And I need them to guarantee aluminum. And the last time I checked, they weren't guaranteeing aluminum. But they may have changed that by now. Uh, about 13 for the ones I have, not 15. <laughs> don't make them better than they are. All right, let me get this, uh, let's get this motor soldered. What the? There, boom. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's what that other camera was for. Come here, you sucker. Let me see if we can make this work. That ought to work. Boom. Boom, bam. There you go. Now we can zoom out. And that gives a pretty decent picture, I guess. I think. This crap, I can never figure all this stuff out, but there you go. There, let's try that. And then let's just move it off camera a little bit. Stupid. <sighs> all right, let's prep the board. Yeah, I know, and that's one of the problems, Chris. I've been trying to figure out, honestly, um, I just got a advertisement or a, what do you call it, a, what do they call it? They send them, like, a, an email that's talking about their new stuff, uh, promotional email or whatever, and you know what? I am, I am a little concerned about it, so, but I did want to do something with a little bit more metal work, uh, but I think by the end of the day, actually, it's a little misleading because I, when I was watching their last in the last email, it was talking about the cost differences. But what they leave out of the cost difference is the cost of the printer. So where they're like, "Hey, this would cost you five grand or two grand to have made," blah blah, or you know, six hundred bucks, and then they get to theirs and they're like, "Yeah, it's only like nine dollars." Yeah, except that it cost you, you know, fifteen thousand dollars to get there. So realistically. Unless you're printing a ton of those things or needing a ton of them, I don't know how they calculated the break even, but I'm not really sure I'm ever going to get to that number. I've, I've kind of given up on the break even. But that's how I got my wife to let me buy it, so I better freaking do something because one day she's going to ask me about that break even. And uh, if I don't produce it, I'm in trouble.
Sorry, I don't know if you guys are saying something or not, but I've got, I can't see because I am doing this, so bear with me a second. Are we, um, are we ready to do a giveaway, guys? Uh, I will look up here and see if I am being told yes. Because I believe we have a Caddx micro cam to give away, so why not? Let's do it. Let's knock it out. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm telling you, by the time it's done, man, I don't think it's cost effective. I don't think there's a break. I don't think. I think a break even is a lie. But hey, I still love my printer. It's just, I mean, I could have bought a small country for that. Oh, by the way, if anybody has a... Okay, we're ready? Okay, sorry. Um, I'll make my little thing later. Uh, let me uh, do a random thing here. Uh, here we go. So, let me switch uh, cameras. Bam, there we go. Okay, random guys, here we go. And it's 1 to 100, so good luck, everybody. I should get this... Uh, here we go, 100, and the number is 64. Good luck, whoever 64 is. Wish you the best. Please let me know who you are, and congratulations. And now back to my build. Congrats, though, whoever won it. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy it, for sure. Oh, yeah, so what I was going to say was, um, I need an iPad mini. If anybody has an extra iPad mini and you need equipment or something, let me know. I mean, if you're selling it cheap, cheap, or if you want to sell it cheap, cheap, great. Uh, my screen has just gone out, and I really depend on it for these videos. Uh, so, and if you need, like I said, if you need equipment instead, I'll swap you, or whatever. Just putting that out there. Alright, so the soldering is coming out real nice there. Let's put this one on. And then I want to see who won. So who won? Who? David who? Hey, David! Congratulations! Man, that's awesome. Congrats to you, brother. You're very welcome. I didn't mention the camera is already broken. Wait, it's an iPad Mini too. Wait, who said Mini? What happened? I missed something. Here is he. Ready, ready, ready. It's an iPad Mini 2. Who's got an iPad Mini 2? I need that. David, it is a broken camera, by the way, but it's not really whether it works right. It's just the thought that counts, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's brand new. Congratulations to you. And we'll do another prize here shortly. So hang in there, folks. Hey, man, you're welcome, man. Thank you for your support. That's the only, it's the best thing is the support I get from you guys. So thank you. What happened to this one? Where's the wire? I guess I didn't stick that one. My bad. My bad. Oh, no, it's there. I guess it just pulled through a little bit. Alright, so motors are wired up. I'll give you a close up on that. See how that looks. I got one I don't use, but it's an iPad. Yeah, iPad Mini 2 be great, Rudy. Uh, I mean, let's hook that up. You, uh, let's, let's make it work, because I need an iPad Mini. Uh, Mini 2 is fine. Let's uh, just message me and let's see what we can do because I need it ASAP so I'd like to 
take that off your hands then and get you what you need and we'll make sure everybody's treated fairly and happy. Thank you very much. David, congratulations. And now get ready for your next drawing, which will be coming up shortly after a word from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors, so I guess we have another drawing coming up shortly. All right, so here you guys go. There's your, um, I'll make these wires all look the same here in just a minute, but right now I just want to show you that it's coming up nice here. Everything's even. Wire lengths are all 65 millimeters. Now it's just a matter of making the pattern look good so they all look identical before I fasten them down. No. Okay. Uh, do you guys ever fly up in Dallas, Fort Worth? Chris, I don't ever fly. I wish I did, but I don't get time anymore. But I'm going to. But if I do, I'll head up to Dallas, man. If you're flying, I'll go hang out. I don't know really where everybody else is from, but um, I'm sure I know we've got some customers there in that area. All right. So let's switch cameras now and get back to business, shall we? Okay, so we got our motors done. Everything looks good there. Now let's get to the rest of it. Um, we'll go ahead and we know to put this on, so let's just grab a camera. Let me go grab a camera real quick. Oh, what camera do I want to use? I'm going to go get another Caddx. Oh, I don't feel like getting up all the way there. Hold on. in favor what camera all right Dustin man get some sleep brother hey Julio what's up Julio what camera are we gonna use Julio should I go arrow micro should I go fox uh falco what 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 are we going go the falco uh micro red go the red yeah everybody good yeah yeah okay that's what we're going with. why not Predator, after I just sat down. Can I just go with Falco, please? Let me just do that one. I don't want to get back up. Please, please, please. All right. Looking good, looking good. Let's get this sucker hooked up. I don't have one. Uh, I do not have the Monster Mini Pro. Uh, I don't think so. That's pretty good, huh? Um, I don't think I got those when I did my last order, but uh, I'll have to check. But yeah, I heard they were really good.
Yeah, the cameras, man, are, they're starting to get really sweet now. I mean, where they've come from, it's like, you know, I remember when, like, run cam, that was the camera to go with, and man, everybody is run cam, including me. And then everybody else, you know, I don't know if they just got tired. It's kind of, it was kind of like the, um, the uh, GoPro thing, you know, like, GoPro was the nuts, man. They had everything, and then I don't know if they just kind of sat back, but everybody started passing them up. They're still awesome, though. I love GoPro. Um, but, uh, it's like everybody's now like into overdrive on the cameras I mean, and, and it's helped bring the price down a lot more while raising the ability of the cameras but um yeah they're they're pretty it's really hard now to find even the cheapest camera that can't at least shoot some decent video This camera's gonna look sharp on here. All right. Thanks, Bryce. I appreciate that. I can never tell the difference between these metal wash, or fasteners and the nylon, so I think. Alright, that's metal. Alright, and these are not. There's that. Okay, so this is coming out pretty nice. I really like this camera in here. I think it looks sharp, so let's finish the rest of the build here and be on our way, shall we? Chris, I'm not sure about that camera, man. I gotta, I gotta really think about it. That's the dual lens, right? Isn't that the dual lens one? I mean, I, I really haven't figured that out yet. I don't understand um, what's going on with that, but I guess uh, I guess it's something. I, I know, I could use the magnet, but uh, when you've only got like one or two and the magnet's not on the same side, I just, you know, I just grab one, touch my tooth. If it sounds like it's metal, then it goes in the metal pile. All right, let's just bring it down a notch to make it easy. I don't have a magnet on me all the time. God, can I just untwist this stuff? Shit, it's all... Ah, oh, sorry. It's taking me longer to untwist this crap. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, the dual lens 4K, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine about it, and, you know, I'm kind of up in the air on it, but I don't know yet. But I'm sure, I mean, we're, you know, we're a Caddx dealer, but I haven't ordered much from them. I don't think I even, I don't know when it was. We were going to place an order, but things just, I don't know. But I, I mean, I love their, I love their, cat the ones I have now. I just, some of that stuff is just too, too out there for me. And I don't know if it's been tested, works. I mean, I've got still some Foxier stuff that I'm not even uh, sure about anymore. Sorry guys, I need to pull that away a second so I can see this. But, we shall see. There we go. We'll leave the OSD cables in there and let's get this ready. Okay, so on here, everything sits on this side for this board. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these run here. I'm gonna go ahead and line that up. And that will run through here, over to here, and that's good length. So let's go ahead and cut that. Eight hundred for what? Old man goggles again, so sorry. Tables get messy now. Oh boy.
Hey, <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate that. It's going to be pretty sweet when it's done, I promise. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm making a one hour build turn into four hours. I apologize. But I don't get to talk to people much. So at least I get to talk with y'all for a little bit. So I'll get to have some fun. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're going to do what I'm doing, please cover the board. Okay, I get too many repairs in here where the solder has flown off like a shooting star, so to speak, and landed on the board, but you can't see it because it's so small. I put it on the microscope, and sure enough, it's there. Make sure to cover your board when you're doing that. All right, where's my scissors? There they are. Trying to solder so that I can get it on the camera and keep it comfortable for me is almost impossible. So bear with me, I apologize. It's, I have to turn this quite a certain way to do that and it's not the most comfortable. So, yeah, that's good, that came out good. Okay, so we've got our camera in and now it's gonna come down to our VTX. And then we are going to be almost finished. I will leave the voltage wire for now and just figure out what I want to do with that in just a second. Okay, we've got a receiver, so let me go ahead and do that. Oops. The only way to call. Oh, yeah. Guys, remember, if you're doing this wire stripping, you only really want to take off about a millimeter, millimeter and a half. I don't know. Maybe go more and then cut it back, but just make sure to not let that wire pass your the soldering pad. It's kind of, at that point, you can short it out. Cover this. Put this in. Go ahead. Okay, so that's done. Sorry, it takes me a little bit longer. All right, are we ready to go? Uh, sub YouTube, so good. yeah, maybe you win. If we're ready to do another drawing, you let me know.
right now I've got to make sure I get all these wires laid out properly and I do those look good time to move on to the VTX which is right here Okay, and now I just need to get some wiring done. Do it, we ready? Uh, okay, so Brandon Caulfield's in, so everybody's in. So it's time to do another drawing. And what are we drawing for now, guys? Y'all better have that answer, because I can't help you there, you gotta tell me. What is it now? Lucian, what is our prize? Uh, you let me know and I will agree or disagree. Please. Uh, I mean, you guys, anybody need a tool set, um, uh, or something like that, I'm more happy to help you out, whatever I could do. Okay, I'll give a five pack of Kevlar straps away if you guys want. That's fine. I mean, it's it's all it's all fine to me. However, you guys want to do it. Tool set. Okay, so let's just let I tell you what. Let's just do this. Let's plan the next couple giveaways, and one will be a five pack of Kevlar lipo straps, and one will be a um, a uh, hex tool set, and one will be a. Uh, uh, socket tool set or whatever y'all let me well who's crying is it cry is tears a bad thing i don't know what that means is that bad or i can't tell if that means you're laughing to tears or you don't like the options i can't read this this gift stuff you guys tell me do the five pack of straps please Okay, you got it. We'll start with five pack of Kevlar straps. Okay, let's do that. I follow my man lead, and that's what we will start with first. Five pack of Kevlar straps. So here goes. Oh, shnikes. Sorry. Sit. All right, here we go. Uh, let me zoom out. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but let's go this way. Boom. Okay. Oh, you see that picture? My kid drew that for me. That's my 13 year old who drew that when he was like two or three. <laughs> All right, where am I at? Uh, right now. Okay guys, one to 100. Uh, I draw now. Here we go, ready and 25. Good luck number 25. Let me know who it is. Congratulations. I am appreciative that you're tuned in. And now I need to take this cable and plug this in because my battery's dying. There we go. All right, now back to soldering. Congrats, by the way. I'm getting to whoever won. This is going from back from here with power going here. Okay. So let's cut these three wires. Carmine. Carmine? Carmine. Hey, good job. Congrats, Carmine. Congratulations.
in these real quick and then we'll get this VTX done. And then we are about finished. One more wire for smart audio, but right now let me just get these soldered on real quick. <laughs> oh man, I wish my wife would love you guys forever if y'all could win all the props that are sitting here. Ah, please, that would be her dream come true. She hates me for, for that right now, that's for sure. I'm not our best friend right now. When I had a 18 wheeler full of props, two crates. Ooh, she wanted to kick my butt. Hey Adam, thank you man. Uh, I appreciate your support, brother. Re really do. And I think your frame ships out tomorrow, so uh, I'm pretty sure because that was what I was cutting today. So I was trying to get it out today, but time just didn't permit. So tomorrow it is, uh, along with the parts for it. So congrats, my friend. And thank you very much. All right, so that's it for the VTX, our four wires that we need. Okay, and now we go back to our build, which we'll zoom out here. Get some of this out of the way. We're ready to close this sucker up here in just a minute, as soon as we get this attached. So on this one, on this board, like I said, the board's really good. Um, so where's that little piece of paper? Paperwork here. That they send you um, does not contain the uh, pads right there right so um, the pads though it's in real small silk screen or whatever you call that boot ground three volt uh, where's it the boot button uh, so you have ground three volt RX and TX TX being the last pad on the board okay so we're just gonna go ahead and put our smart audio there This will be our green one, so I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. And also put in the... Uh, Alright. So that, we will stretch it to... It sits like this, so we have about a few millimeters, maybe like... Leave a little excess just because you got to be able to move the frame a little bit while you're doing that. So let's do that and then we'll just twist the wire up. Okay. And as soon as these go on, then they also go on. So maybe that's it. No. This is a 
real tight fit here. So let me just, hold on, I mean semi tight fit here. So let me just see if I can just get it. I'll just go this way. I was trying to fit this in such a way to where I could easily change it later, but I don't want to get near the other pad, so I'm just going to come this direction. Screw it. Do it this way and call it a day. There we go. All right. So our video runs over here, and we have our video out right there. So this wire will be. A little long, but uh, go ahead and cut that real quick. I think Bryce probably Bryce probably passed out, Lucian. That's all right. Before you leave, we'll do another drawing, and then if everybody's tired, we can always finish the build tomorrow. I don't want to stress anybody out. Okay. Besides, the build is almost done. Don't forget, I still got to give the frame away. Oh, right on, man. That's going to be awesome, Grady. Can't wait to see those. That's going to be pretty sweet. Nice job. Okay, so there is our video. I'll do the numbers. Don't worry about it. I got you, man. I appreciate all you've done. Don't, don't trouble yourself, Lucian. I know you got to get going to work. I got you, homie. I got you. It's all good. It's good. Okay. Uh, let's see, so the last thing we have is our LiPo wire. So let me just go ahead and knock that out. And I will make that a very short wire. And for that, we will just do, um, let me see, a very, very short wire. We got one frame to give away, uh, so that's that's the part that I know, uh, and then, oh, I don't know, after that, we'll probably be very close to done anyway, so Lucian, if you want, you can make, <laughs> shut up, you can make the uh, next drawing for the frame, and then, uh, let me see, I don't know where we're at on giveaways yet, but... Um, just keep me posted. Or however you want to do it. You guys decide. I'm at your mercy. It's whatever you like.
still want to give a tool set away too, though. Sorry, I don't know what anybody's writing, uh, if, if anybody did write, but I want to make sure that I need to give the tool set away. Plug real quick. No, not yet. Um, no, I have to find out why though. I will check into that and see. Hmm. I'll check in and find out what the status is and why they didn't come in yet. Sorry, my captain. I'll have an answer for you shortly. Uh, I need a rubber band though. Anybody got a rubber band? I need a rubber band, all right. Let me find a rubber band real quick. Crap, I'm not even paying attention. Ooh. That could have been a disaster. All right, so where are we at? If you think I've gotten your number, don't spam it, LOL. I don't even watch the NBA. I will again when Zana come home. Okay. Uh, so somebody, where are we at? Um, please let me know. So that if we have a drawing coming up, I can make it happen.
Sorry, I'll look back at the camera here in a second. I'm just trying to get my shrimp tube down. There we go. Is that right? That should work. Peace out, my pe Oh, Bryce going to... Good night, dude. Peace out. I'm baked, so every few minutes I wonder. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I love the brutal honesty of this group sometimes. It's awesome. Ooh, that's going to be too long. Brutal and awesome. Lucian, tell me where I'm at. Uh, tool set? Is that what you said? Yeah, tool set. I'm good with tool set. I'm good with that. I'd like to get some tool sets out there. I know people need some. and It's fun. And they got our name on them. Woo -woo. Sure, tool set would be fine. Got any of the three, got any that are three pieces or so. I have a four piece tool set. I'm gonna go with a four piece tool set. A hex set, does that sound good? Everybody want a hex set up for grabs? It's up to y'all, y'all tell me. And I'll make it happen. <laughs> That's funny, you'll get in trouble, Lawrence. Lucian, give me the, uh, whatchamacallit when you're ready, and we'll go ahead and knock that out. Give away a three, uh, four-piece tool set. I guess it would be a four-piece hex set. Oh, yeah, no, tonight I decided I'm making up for last week. I was kind of, I've been kind of behind on giving, doing the drawings and stuff, so tonight is all about... Doing a build, giving some stuff away, having fun. We've given a lot of stuff away so far, I think. So, hopefully everybody's getting taken care of. I'm trying to make it as fair as possible. We had a little, a little drama there when I couldn't figure out how to find the members after somebody pointed out that I wasn't picking from all the subscribers, so that was true. So I'm gonna work on that one. Okay, so Lucia, are you telling me it's time to draw? We good? Uh, I just want you to tell me if it's, I don't know if you're telling me it's good for me or good for them to give you the numbers. You let me know, homeboy. Oh, there's still people giving you numbers. Okay, I'll wait till you say we're good to draw. A lot longer than normal that I usually do that, but to hold that solder on there, but it's acting kind of finicky right now, so. Alright, let's do the start. Okay, hold on. Let me just drop this side on here real quick. And that way, while it's cooling, I can be doing this. One second. Oh, 
one more second and I'll get the brown one in and then I'm good to go. Actually, I'm gonna let the board cool now. Let me just, I'll let that cool and I'll come back to that. All right, let's do a drawing, guys. Here we go. Boom, ba -da, da 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 What the hell? All right. Random number, one to 100. One to two, no, one to 100. 100. All right, guys, this is for the four-piece tool set. All right, good luck to all y'all. Here we go, ready and bam. Number 11. Congratulations to number 11, you win. But I don't know who you are, but congratulations to you. So let me know, Lucian, whoever it is, I appreciate it. And congrats to whoever that is. Jeff, congratulations, Jeff. Don't forget, you gotta be subscribed and you need to make sure to have an account on Cyclone FPV so that I can get your shipping address so that I can even mail you your prize. Please. So please go put that on there as soon as you can. Congratulations to you and everybody else. Looks like we are going to make few people happy tonight. Some pretty cool bikes. Dun, dun, dun. Perfect. That looks good. Looks good. Everything's solid. That sucker's on there solid, so that's not going anywhere. Um, it's all right. So, we've got our stuff here set. And so now we can start putting the rest of it together. All right. Oh, I was looking through that, wasn't I? Sorry, guys. Shit. I did it. I said I wouldn't do that, and I did. Damn it. Mm. Uh, it's, wait, what happened? Who, what? Oh, he's not on anymore, Lucian, is that what you're saying? Well, uh, it's up to you guys. If you want to do another one, then we'll draw it again. I mean, the idea is, yeah, it's supposed to be from live folks, so if they're not on, they're not on. Give them a minute. Uh... The number was 11. Uh, hey guys, y'all decide. I mean, I'm, I'm up for whatever. I mean, I think they're supposed to be, they should be on. So if not, I think you do another drawing. I don't think you just go to the next person, I guess. But if you guys go to the next person, it, it's all, it's all good to me. I mean, I, I, I don't mind. 
I want everybody to be happy with the outcome as far as the decision made. So you guys decide. Let me be the guy that gives the stuff away and makes the quad, but I cannot make that decision. So I leave it to you. I defer. Redo the number? Okay. Y'all making me keep grabbing my damn phone. You're killing me. Flight controller, I'm not even touching it. I'm not even on the flight controller. I'm only on the, I'm doing the wires right here. I haven't touched that button. Well, you relax, you guys. Woosa. All right, besides, look. See my hand on that flight controller? Look at my finger, right on there. Nothing's burning, it's all good. Not even, there's not even any heat. I'm just doing these two wires right here. Woosa. All right, hold on, how does this work? Let's go here. Get off of that, go here, go here. All right, random number. Number is 22. Oh, there you go. All right, 22. Please, please, somebody answer to 22. That would be nice. All right. Now, to put these wires back on. There we go. Once upon a time, not long ago, people wore pajamas and lived by slow. Oh, I didn't even see the winner. What happened? Where's my conversation? Hey, there it is. Wait. Oh, oh, I got you. I'm sorry. I'm, hey man, I'm slow. I don't get all these things. And I'm all good with that too. Let's, uh, I don't think we have a 22. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I am fine with giving it to Lawrence. However you guys, look guys, I'm telling you, however you want to do it, I don't care. As long as everybody's happy at the end of the day. Y'all decide. Go get some heat shrink. Congratulations, Lawrence. Somehow we drew twice and you still ended up getting it. Good, good, good job. It's amazing how things work, my man. It's meant to be. All right, well, I'm going to put this... Uh, this frame together and close it up um, and from there the only thing left is actually the buzzer uh, but uh, I want to I think that we need to get to where we're at the point of giving the frame away next uh oh I just dropped a screw in my coffee damn it hmm hmm I didn't swallow it yet that's good all right, what was I looking for? I have tools, I'm in Canada, so save tarks, I'm shipping and pick someone who needs, I have tools. Oh man, you had to do that now, didn't you, Lawrence? Ah. Oh. Okay, y'all figured out, y'all give me stress now, now I don't know what to do. All right, tell you what, 
Let's um, let's do this. We are now what three hours into the build. It is now one o'clock. So I've got to go to one. Uh, we need to give the frame away anyway. Um, what? 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 You decide what you want to do. Okay. Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll. Uh, Y'all figure that out. We need to give a frame away. That's the one thing um, that we have to do for sure. So, uh, oh, there you go. Okay, Cedric, you can have it. I tell you what, look, I'm just going to do this tonight because clearly the way I'm picking winners is not ideal for how I was hoping to do it. So, um, uh, let's figure out. Uh, we got to give the frame away, right? So, we're giving the frame solution. No, no, no. It's 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 all good. Listen, he gave it to Lawrence. He gave it to Lawrence to do what he wanted with it. Lawrence is giving it to you. So that is very fair, very noble, uh, very nice, Lawrence. Appreciate it. Uh, as far as this goes, uh, Lucian, let's do this now. Um, no. Nice try. No. Uh, let's go ahead and do a drawing right now. And I think because of the viewers, uh, what you've got... Cedric won't take the tools. Okay, so now nobody wants the tools. Uh, no, wait. Okay, tell you what. Y'all, y'all, you're killing me here. Lawrence, the tools are yours. Would you like to donate them? If you'd like to donate them, <laughs> donate them. I'm not going to beg people to take my tools. Okay? Uh, if not, they're going to go back in the pile, and we have a frame to give away. Uh, and I want to get that going because it is getting late. I know some of you are up late. Uh, this build is almost done. I'm just stitching it together here. Uh, and it'll be finished here in about... I'm just going to put the frame together now. The program we can do later. I'm going to seal this off real quick because I'm not going to use it. So let me go ahead and do that. Y'all figure out what you want to do. I'm not looking at the screen right now. I am trying to close off this wire. And then we'll take it from there. What did you decide? I do. Brian, Brian, Freddie, what? Lawrence, cheers. Wait, what happened? Yeah, cheers. What's cheers? Yes, sir, I picked Cedric. Take the bloody tools. <laughs> I want the friend. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Cedric, thank you. Brian, I'll make sure you're taken care of. Don't worry about that, guys. We have a frame to give away. Is everybody ready to give the frame away? That's all I want to know is, can we give the frame away and not have any arguments? So for the frame, <laughs> Brian, you, you'll be fine, man. I'll get you, I'll get you hooked up. Don't you worry. Um, okay, so let's do the frame, Lucian, because I know you got to get going too to work. So what I'd like to do for the frame is because, uh, you know, people have signed off and stuff, Let's um, let's just do a uh, whatever. Y'all figure it out. Do your number thing, and let's get it done. So I can congratulate somebody before everybody passes out, and uh, and we can take it from there. All right. I wanted to see people celebrate. What? what? My goal is that I will have this thing here finished in just a second, at least ready to close up, and then that way I can finish this, close it up, and give the frame away at the same time. So let's aim for that, shall we? Yeah, I was gonna say pick new numbers too. Like it has to be, I mean, there has to be a guaranteed winner because I'm giving the frame away no matter what. So how about for the final prize, the grand prize, which is the frame, everybody just you know, whatever. Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't say anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll let you guys handle it. Just no fighting. Everybody gotta get along. Get along. Sweet. Look at that. That's gonna come out nice.
Let's do green, and then um, I can look at this green. So bear with me. What do we got? Then pick one. Yeah. Again, so let's just do red. Red, red, red. Mm -hmm. For the final drawing, I think you guys will put the new numbers, yes. I'm just chiming in. I could be wrong. I don't know what's going on. Don't blame me. <laughs> Y'all cracking me up. Uh, I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just trying to get this thing on here. So if, whenever you're ready, Lucian, you give me the word.
So does this mean we're ready for the to go to do this or uh, not yet? Hey man, this is all fun to me. I don't know. I love I love this the conversation that's been taking place, so I'm not putting up with anybody. Y'all are great people. I promise you that. Yeah, very much appreciated. Cedric, what does, uh, are you guys telling me, yes, we're good to go? Sorry, I'm not following, so. All good? All right, here we go. Wait, wait, maybe I'm not seeing that right. Let me see. They keep me there so at least I can do. Thanks, Lucian. Lucian, are we ready to do the drawing? Uh, I need to. I can't switch out of this screen until you tell me yes. So you got 35 seconds. I guess I'll wait. I'm sorry, I can't tell if you're saying all good is in all good to him or all good to me. Bro, is there a universal power that can be used on any motors? Um. Okay. Yes, we're. Wait, Grady, you're ready or are we ready? <laughs> and yes, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Freddie, yes, there is pretty much. Um, and so what are the numbers? Uh, Lucian, what am I doing? One through what? Was it 30 or something? Just let me make sure I got this right. Very uh, tense situations here. Three fifty. Okay. All right. Here we go. Put the last screw in on this frame. Oh, that came out nice. I like that. Okay. All right. Let me put that down. Let's get started. Random. One through fifty. Guys, good luck to everybody, by the way. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me this long. Um, here we go. Ready? And 27. Number 27. So. Twenty-seven is the number. Uh, congratulations to whoever got that. This is the this is the frame that you're going to be receiving. You will get one. I mean, not going to get this exact build because that's mine, but you will be getting a frame, a fresh cut one. Uh, wait, what happened? Oh, um, so uh, I need to change the standoffs on these anyway, so they match. But let me at least um, give you guys an idea of what we worked on tonight. So here it is, uh, the uh, Diablo uh, S3. Um, there's still a couple of things I'm going to do to it. I mean, I, I'm going to put a dual buzzer on it and I'm going to put the cap on it, but at least you can see the build itself. Um, I think the Falcor came out real nice on it and it's super thin. Uh, so you've got about 10 millimeters on there. So these are uh, the two. Um, uh, no props on here yet. And the weight of this one right now, 
<clears throat> will be a drum roll. Let's uh, give you the weight of this one. It's going to be uh, 155 without the light bulb. All right, so that's it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is there an argument going on here? Sorry. I need to pay attention to what's happening here. So, uh, all right, you guys figure out who gets what. I trust the decisions y'all are making. No, no, if, if, okay, so if, if Grady called 27, then he, he got it. So, all right, nice job, Grady. And who else? Wait a minute, who else? That's okay, but if he appear, appeared here, we'll give it to him. And... So, so Lucian, you said it. You thought it was David and Grady. Hey, look, 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 look. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Both y'all win. Okay, I'm giving it to two of you. So I'm feeling generous. Why not? Grady, you get it. David, you get it. Hell, there you go. I, I don't like when somebody's name is called out and then you have to say sorry. It's kind of like the Miss America thing. It really sucks. So I get it. I promise you on the next drawing, I will figure out how we're going to do this a little more fair, but it still has to be tied into YouTube. Both y'all win it. Um, and so congratulations to both y'all. Okay. Uh, there's, we're family, right? We're supposed to be helping each other out and I want you both. There you go. Um, so enjoy it guys. Okay. Very much. And, uh, I appreciate y'all. My family appreciate y'all and your support. Um, so congratulations to you two. And to everybody else, Lucian, thanks a ton, man, for helping. You were amazing tonight. Uh, I, I, you know, I guess part of this was giving a bunch of stuff away and not having the proper way to do it. I hope nobody's upset. Uh, I will fine tune it. I thought we really could get all the subscribers, uh, but please, guys, help me out by pushing people to um, subscribe. Really, that's my biggest thing. Is I really like them to subscribe and help get the name out. Uh, other than that, it's uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, came out to 156 grams. I really like it. It looks good. I'll clean it up a little bit more and, and put some pictures online of it. Um, and to you two guys, enjoy. Uh, really, I mean, I do it all for you to, I can be home with my kids. This job allows me to do that. So when I get to see them and I couldn't have done it without y'all. God bless guys. Have a great night. Okay. Congratulations to all the winners. Don't forget to hit me up and let me know what you want and stuff. And I'll go back on this one and I'll see you guys tomorrow for something new. All right. Have a good night. God bless. Bye.